first time welcome to the channel and live stream travel snacks is all about traveling eating good food being kind to one another being resourceful and maybe living a different type of lifestyle than the norm well you might want to live in a car van RV tiny home truck or something like that and there's no judgment here and we just like to talk and have fun and it's very cold so that's why I'm bundled up today so welcome everybody and my setup is a little weird today so uh, let's see we first let me get my glasses um so i can't scroll back so far um i don't know why It doesn't let me scroll back super far, so I can't see all of the messages. But um, hello to Tracy Coleman. Um, and hello, Brother Lance. And hey, Betty Canellas. Uh, let's see, let's see. Hey, Grant, how are you? Grant is our moderator, so he has all the power to ban anyone that's going crazy in the comments and also put you in a timeout so welcome uh, new, yeah there's a lot of new faces um, thank you very much for being here hey Felicity hey Tanya let's see let's see let's see let's see hey Terry is tenacious and uh, Lindsay uh, welcome, your first time. I'm glad. Hey, Terry's in the house. Terry Zaleski. Uh, Chris Scott's in the house. What's up, Chris? Uh, let's see. Cinnamon rolls. Somebody said cinnamon rolls. Oh, boy. That sounds delicious. Hey, a writer. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, Robert, formerly of Lake Paget. Uh, yes, you see sugar crystal candy corn peeking in right here. She fits in with the Valentine mood. Um... Hey, Lori Motto and Linda Lover and Kev Adams from the UK. Um, yes, so I did a slight little bit of decorating before the live stream. I have my little flowers here. I got my little balloon and my crystal candy corn. Oh, and I got this little um, Valentine scarf. It's just like basically like cheap material because I got it at the Dollar Tree. And I curled my hair. At my son's house so that I could be kind of festive so um, I really do enjoy Valentine's Day but we'll talk about that in a little bit um, but before we get started uh, throw a like on whoa where's the camera today throw a like on the live stream so we had a problem with this live stream a couple weeks back and for whatever reason I couldn't see comments and I thought it was because the camera had to be on this side, but I started it today on this side, so I guess that's not a factor, so I can have the camera on either side. So now i got to get used to the camera being on this side, and your comments are on this side, so that's better for me to be able to focus my eyes that way. Um, and if you are new and you haven't subscribed already, that's how you become part of the snack pack, is you just hit the subscribe button, and you might as well just hit that notification bell, because then you'll know every time we have a new live stream or a new video or anything like that um let's see let's see let's see happy to valentine's day tanya single buddy hey carmen happy valentine's day brother lance i'm already hungry <laughs> hey janelle d thank you very much uh journey of love and light hey from the san francisco bay area thank you very much thank you very much very festive thanks 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 uh let's see so um we'll talk about valentine's day in a little bit um but we have a lot going on today i'm feeling like very slanted because i'm parked and my van is parked like this in this parking lot so i feel like i'm just gonna tip over and i usually have this little box that i set my ipad on that lifts it up so that it, like the screen is a little bit more eye level but I left it at my son's house because I'm doing some, that's my box that has all my like painting stuff for the van, like all my stuff that I brought. Whoa, are you drunk? <laughs> uh, but it has all my supplies, like my little um, paints to do touch-ups and stuff like that, but I left it at my son's house, so I don't have it. So now I feel like a little tilty. 
Um, but we'll do fine. We'll do fine. Um, hey, day HDJKSA52. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, Barbara. Um, so yeah, the YouTube notification clear is not working. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, YouTube notifications wonky for me. Um, broke up with my girlfriend last week. This is the second Valentine's Day that has happened. Oh, dang. There's a trend there, it seems like. I don't know what's happening there. SCCC, yeah, passed out. She must have had too much sugar. Hey, Zachary. Uh, happy Valentine's Day early. Hey, Mimi's in the house. Good afternoon. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, I got the notification right now, too, so I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know. YouTube does whatever they want. Uh, sometimes life is better. A little wonky. That's true. Hey, Helene Rogers. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, so let's just get started with it's freezing. Now, I'm going to just say this because I know some of you are in way colder temperatures and are used to getting cold temperatures. Grant and all you other people that live in freezing temperatures. Hey, Unicorn Queen. Um, I'm not used to it. So this week in Dallas, it's been extremely cold. I, um, you guys may have heard of, there was like 133 car pile up on the freeway. Uh, so say a prayer for the families and people that were affected. Something on the screen. Um, because the roads were so icy here in Dallas and it's just been very cold. And when you're in an area that's not used to it being this cold, people freak out. Like I went to go get a Starbucks today and the Starbucks, the whole Starbucks was literally closed. The sign on the door said, we're closed because we're considering our workers uh, that we don't want them to have to drive into work. And there's no snow. It's like, it's just cold. Now, of course, there could be ice on the roads, but it was shocking because that wasn't the only Starbucks because I have the app and there was a lot of different Starbucks that had the little like yellow symbol that says like alert and a lot of Starbucks were closed today, which is crazy to me because like there's colder places that continue to do business year round. But I guess because it's so cold and people aren't used to it, they're just freaking out. It has been very uh, cold and icy like Today I woke up and it was 21 degrees. Um, right now I think it's 35 degrees, um, which is still cold, but maybe not for a lot of people. So what's going on for you guys? Like I know that some of you guys are like just blanketed in snow. Some of you guys are in temperatures that is unfathomable, fathomable, like negative a billion. I, I don't understand, um, but let's see. On Monday, this coming Monday, it's supposed to get to one degree in Texas. I've never been in one degree, but I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be in my van. I'm gonna tough it out. So I don't know. And then on, I think Wednesday, it's supposed to snow. Like there's a 60% chance of snow. So it's cold. Uh, let's see what you guys have to say. Anyone know what would make my keyboard wonky? What's what's it doing, Terius Tenacious? Hey, Dwayne, how are you? Uh, let's see. Oh, three Unicorn Queen has three degrees. No, too cold. Or of a song. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, so Grant has negative four degrees. No, that's too cold. Um, hey, T dot, how are you? Thank you very much. Um, let's see. I got caught up, hey Jane Gray, I got caught up in a thriller series last night. I not only didn't notice when 5 p.m. rolled around, I also forgot it was Saturday. <laughs> that happens. Yesterday I thought it was Thursday all day. Um, and then I'm like, is it Friday? Oh my gosh, tomorrow's snack, snack chat Saturday. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, it was like a major, major pile up. And I think, sorry, I just ate a sandwich before this and I have like remnants in my mouth. It's bugging me. Um, and I think six people died, um, which is very tragic and it was like a mess and I got so many messages. So thank you for everybody that called or not called, but yeah, some, some of my friends called, but some, a lot of people DM'd me and sent messages and I appreciate that. I wasn't anywhere on the freeway because I'm not used to driving 
in those types of weather situations, so I stayed off the road. But uh, you can never predict, you know. And it was so cold. I was I parked in my son's parking lot, like his community parking lot, and it was so cold. The pathway to get to his house was all iced over. He lives upstairs and all his stairs were iced up so I literally had to hold on to the rail going up and then when I wanted to come down I couldn't even go down I had to take off my shoes and just go down on my socks because it was so slippery and I was like I'm gonna fall off these stairs and break my neck so no um, it's just it's crazy it's so the black ice and all these stores have uh, all the salt and stuff to like combat that but you know in a lot of places they don't have that hey David how are you um, Kuba said now snowed this morning for Chris. Um, Dwayne says it was all ice at 5 a.m. this morning on my way to work. Oh my gosh. Uh, thanks, Orvisong. Um, got to around 20 degrees Fahrenheit, says Barbara. Snack. Snacks. Guess there's always March. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Um, I heard about the pile up and weather in Texas. I thought of you. Glad you're good. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Lund lover, Lundy or Lund lover, it is three degrees in North, northern, northern Colorado. Sheesh. How's the diesel heater working for you? Uh, it's on right now, but actually I'm hot, so I'm going to throw up. And good news, I don't know if I even mentioned this, but when I had this installed, th it came with this remote. Uh, not this one, because the one that it came with didn't work. And so I wrote to the company, which is a Chinese company, it's a Chinese diesel heater. And I was like, my display is not working and my remote's not working. So they were like, it's going to take like a month to send you a replacement. I was like, I don't care. So I just got this this week. And this is like the best thing ever because now I can sit in my bed and just turn it on and off. And that's very handy when you're sleeping and it gets cold. So it's great. And that's the only thing keeping me going in this van because it's just too cold. Um, and it heats up super fast because it's a small space. Uh, David says, negative 22 Monday morning for me. Whew. I don't even know what that feels like. That's, that's gotta be like a slap in the face of just crispness. Uh, Robert says, global warming, <laughs> yeah. Tanya, 55 and light rain, sunny on and off in Central Cali. Oh, dang. Now I think 55 is warm. Um, Brotherlands, prayers, prayers to those in Texas and man, I love me. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, definitely prayers to those in Texas. It's easier to get warm in the van than to try to and get cool when it's hot, right? Uh, I believe so. I think when it gets super hot, it's like, I haven't experienced the van yet. Um, but I think it's probably easier to bundle up and keep adding layers than it is to try to like, like stay cool because, you know, I don't know, I guess I'll experience it when it starts to get hot. Uh, Orvis says negative one this morning. That's crazy. Helene says rainy, wet, and cold here in South Carolina. Drinking hot cocoa. Ooh, hot cocoa sounds good. Dayton, Ohio has very little snow. Current temp is 26. Uh, seriously, time to head to the desert. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to be heading to the desert. I'll be going south more like to Louisiana and Florida. If you run your van while parked, park into the wind so the exhaust goes out the back and dot under the body. Oh, okay, that's a good tip. Hey Trish89 from KC, love the channel. Thank you, thank you for being here. Three degrees in Colorado, 67 in California. Yeah, rest in peace to the six people. Hey Metallic Reality, uh, I'm from the UK and didn't realize Texas ever gets cold so I haven't have learned something new today. I mean, honestly, I'm from the United States and I didn't realize that Texas got this cold ever and maybe this is a new thing but I'm like this is crazy cold all are welcome in St. Augustine St. Augustine was the jam 89 in Blue Springs uh you fixed it? okay good um hey Reyes in the house uh hi Mike wanted me to explain his absence he's a box truck driver and he's stuck in snow on the Bainbridge Island waiting for it to oh no Prayers to Mike Brady, everybody. He's a snack pack regular, and this is his wife, Rhea. So welcome, Rhea, but thank you for giving the message, and we will definitely keep him in our prayers and thoughts because that is a big bummer. Um, 
Mimi says 69 and mostly cloudy in Phoenix. Uh, it is supposed to rain, but nothing yet. Okay. I do like a good rain. Table salt will melt the ice as well. Okay. Uh, let's see. Texas is getting record breaking cold for record long lasting. Yes. Hey, AGT, WNC. You just woke up? <laughs> hey, that's, that's cool. Uh, I grew up in New England and it's great if you ski. I used to wait for it to snow so much. I'm in Florida now. We get hot during the summer. You have to leave. Mm. Uh, let's see. What kind of heater did I get? I got a, it's called a Chinese diesel heater. I got it off of Amazon and it was like $135. But it is like a little intense on how to install it. I did not install it. Um, my dad actually <laughs> roped somebody from Home Depot into uh, installing it for me and I paid him. Um, just somebody that worked at Home Depot. We would go there so much during the van build. And my dad started talking to one of the guys that worked there and he installed it. Um, but you can do it, but it's just a little involved. you got to cut a hole in the bottom of the van and it's, you know, it's a whole situation. And then you fill it up, you fill up your container with diesel fuel. So whenever you go to the gas station, you have to, well, I'll, I have a video coming up about it, but you basically have to fill it in, fill it up inside your van. I mean, you don't have to, if you cut a hole in the side of your van, you could do it that way. <clears throat> the little luxuries of van life remotes. Yeah, it's the greatest thing, that remote. Hey, Seth. Uh, let's see. Love the balloon. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree for these flowers and Dollar Tree. You can only take so much off before you're just hot. That's true, Chris. Trish says, a bomb, bomb me eight degrees in, in KC. Uh, soon we will all be talking to Chinese diesel heater companies. Yes, definitely. Uh, I don't really know how to work it except for just turning on and off and like putting the temperature up and down. Um, but it's, there's no like, the fan just is one speed. So it just like heats up, it stays there. And then if you just get hot, you just turn it off. Maybe there's a different way, but <clears throat> I don't know. It's just pretty basic, but it gets so hot. So, you know, I just kind of turn it on and off. 52 wet and muddy in Western North Carolina. Hey, Sue Robinson. Hi from New Zealand. Been watching you for a while, living my life vicariously through. Oh, awesome. Welcome. Um, is my diesel here loud? Did you, could you guys hear it? it? Basically, it was just, it's not that loud. I mean, it, you can tell, you know, it's like blowing, but it's not like super loud. Like it doesn't keep me up or anything. Um, it does have a, like a little ticking sound, um, but it's not super annoying like a clock. So I don't think it's that loud. Hey, Joanna from Joanna's RV Life. Uh, I'm 45 degrees and hazy in Cumming, Georgia, celebrating V-Day myself today and starting a juice cleanse tomorrow while I door dash. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Babs Max from Ontario, Canada. Just started watching. Oh, awesome. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Definitely prayers for Mike. Um, T dot. what are you going to do in the summer? I've been looking at DIY cooler air conditioner. Not good. I don't know yet. I, <laughs> I'm just trying to get some of the stuff fixed here in the van before I start thinking about summer. Um, 25 degrees in Washington. Whew. Happy Valentine's Day. Try the mini Hershey chocolate beignets. At oh, I didn't know they had such a thing at Taco Bell. Okay. That sounds like a hit. Uh, let's see. Hey, Willa Thomas. How are you? I guess bike week is on for Orlando, Allison. First week in March. What's bike week? Is that like bikers, like motorcycles, or like bikes, like just regular bikes? Yeah, I used to live in Colleen when I was a baby. According to my parents, it can get very cold and it always surprised me. Oh, that's crazy. What's the latest on your hard drive? Okay, well, we can transition onto the hard drive. Um, okay, let me see how many um, messages. I don't want to get too far behind. Um, let me read these for you and then I'll talk about the hard drive. Love Dollar Tree, me too. It's 14 in Kansas. Uh, happy Valentine's Day and Happy President's Day to everyone. Yes, uh, let's see. Hey, it looks like you did some additional trim work behind you. Oh, thanks for noticing, Terry. Um, were you able to take care of the smell from the heater vents? Okay, I'm going to talk about that too. So let's talk about the hard drive. I'll talk about my trim and then I'll talk about the heater vents. Um, okay, so before I even say anything about this um, hard drive situation, I'm warning you and I give Grant full authority. We're only going to speak positivity over this situation. 
because the, the email I got is just what it is. But I don't want anyone to be like, oh, too bad for you or ch check in with reality. Like it's going to be bad for you. I don't want anybody to say anything negative about this. So we're only going to just be like, hey, it's going to work out. God's going to work. If, you, if you're a follower of God, just, you know, put it on God and Jesus that it's going to get resolved. But uh, let's see. I got to find the I got to find the email. Mm. Okay, so you guys ready for this? Okay, so this is from Seagate Technology. This the hard drive was a Seagate. And I already see the things are going to work out. So I yes, thank you. I take it. It says uh this is Seagate Technology. This is a technician from Seagate. I hope you're well. I wanted to follow up with your case and let you know we are still working on your recovery. I would like to share with you that your drive went under a pre-evaluation when it arrived, and the outcome of this was that we found stick stiction. This means that we found a tendency of read and write heads to stick to the platters. Drive might have been dropped or sustained excessive shock. This outcome implies a physical fault. Okay, I'm going to pause right there because I keep that drive in... Let's see. Oh, I don't have it. It's under me. I keep the drive in a padded uh, laptop case inside of a padded backpack. So he's saying it might be from a drop or excessive shock. That's shocking because I protect it. But anyway, um, our technicians need to examine the integrity of your drive and make the necessary adjustments in order for the drive to work properly. This means recalibrating the mechanical parts of the drive change parts if needed, clean the inside of the drive, this and more, only for it to work without any kind of issues. After this process is completed, then we will need to attempt to retrieve the data. And if in this process the drive fails, we will need to repeat the process again. We will exhaust all options and utilize all the tools at our disposal to retrieve the data. We appreciate your patience regarding this case and will gladly share any relevant information until then. And then it goes on to like talk about, you know, thank you for, if you have any questions, blah, blah, blah. So basically they're saying they need to do a bunch of stuff, like clean it and all these things. And like, I guess the platter things are whatever. I don't even know what that means, stiction. Um, I guess they're saying they need to go through, like make it, um, like fix the platter first and then they can retrieve the data. So I'm very hopeful about that. Now, who knows? But I'm just saying, I'm counting on Jesus to pull it off because there's a lot of stake. Um, because the thing is, is like, I not only do I have all my van build stuff on there, but I have like, I, like, I hate to even say it, this is so upsetting. Like I have all the videos from like my kids growing up and like my trip when I went to Europe and all these things. And I know that I should have had this backed up on more than one drive, but blah, 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 this is a whole nother story. Um, it's a lot at stake. So <laughs> I'm just saying, let's keep it positive. And I believe that it's going to get restored. So that's the, that's the only up, update I have. And that was like two days ago. So I don't know how long that's going to take, but I'm just going to be patient and just keep making videos in the meantime. Um, so let me read the comments and then we'll talk about the trim work and the heater vents. Um, let's see. Seth has 70. Oh, 70. That's nice in Florida. Um, Grant, Monday is family day here in Alberta. Oh, nice. Um, come through the mic loud. Uh, I don't know if that, I don't know what that means. Um, hey, Shane from the UK. Oh, hey, Claire. Thank you for the $5. Happy Valentine's Day. We'll send something for myself. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Um, let me give you a shout out. Let's give you a victory. Do I have this turned up? Thank you so much, Claire. That is very sweet of you. And happy Valentine's Day right back at you. Um, also, I forgot to mention this, but if anybody wants to donate to the snack fund, it's not necessary or obligated. But if you do, you can hit the little dollar sign under the chat. That's a YouTube donation. They take 30%, which is kind of a bummer, but I want you to know where your money's going if you use that. Also, you can do a donation by Cash App or Venmo, which is no fees at all. So all the money donates straight to the snack fund. Uh, or you can do PayPal. 
and they do take fees, but it's not as much as YouTube. And those links are going to be in the description of all my videos in case you'd like to do that. But again, no obligation. Um, so let's move on from that. Uh, lots of comments. Okay. Another day off Monday for the children. Like they haven't been off <laughs> enough. Hey, Dee Dee uh, from Vancouver. You look nice and warm. Yes, I am toasty right now. Can I see the diesel heater display? Yes, I'll show you because I have a little surprise and Grant's gonna be very excited about this. I hope you're ready, Grant, Grant because we're gonna do a little field trip today. It's a surprise. I wasn't gonna tell you, but I'm gonna do it now in a few minutes before it gets dark. But I am at a um, at like a lake right now. And so that's why I'm a little more cozy right now is because I have my jacket ready. I'm gonna take you guys outside in a few minutes. So I wanna, I'm talking fast because I'm trying to get a lot in today. Um, it's like a Valentine's Day surprise. Um, but yeah, when I exit the van, I'll show you the diesel heater and the display. Um, oh my God, I'm back with my snacks and you already started. <laughs> it's all good, Tracy. You didn't miss much. Uh, Brother Lance, I got to roll, but appreciate all you guys do the channel. Keep up the great work. Allison Grant, rock on. Love you guys. Thank you so much and happy Valentine's Day. Uh, Dollar Tree is the bomb. I've seen the video of people using PVC and making a hot rod or solar heater tank on the roof for showers. I've seen that too, Seth, and maybe in the future, but I'm not sure. Um, hey, Red92. Uh, Greenland. Oh, awesome. It's a nice negative. Is that negative eight and snowing? No, that's cold. I would like to go to Greenland. I don't know if I could handle the cold, but I'd like to go there. Um, yes, that was awesome from Claire. Thank you so much. I live full time in my 45 foot grand design fifth wheel at a place called Lake Paradise near Oak Grove. Is that Missouri right now? Uh, Great Lakes and the free fishing and kayaking, kayaking beautifully. Ooh, 45 feet. How do you drive that? That's a lot of, that's so big. I'm like, that's impressive. Thank you, Terry. And thank you, David. It's going to work out. Uh, awesome. 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 <laughs> Felicity, get your wrench out. Lindsay, everything always finds a way. Thank you. T dot. Don't do it. Uh, Willa is giving a bunch of dabs. Love you guys. Tanya's giving the computers. <laughs> uh, Dwayne, uh, says froze. Uh, Terry says they're blaming you. I guess they're trying to blame me, which is crazy. And you know, what's weird is like, I only had that hard drive for like six months and I did have it protected, you know, in like two padded things. So I'm just like, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Barbara, note to self, no comment, hold it. <laughs> Chris, he's just trying to cover the company so they don't have to do this work free and replace your drive. Praying God is with the text. Thank you very much. Uh, and honestly, if I have to end up paying for it, I don't think I'm going to because it's under warranty. But if I do, I will because it's just whatever. David says, my prayers go out to the drive. Thank you very much. Uh, sounds promising. Thank you, Seth. Uh, here in Amherstburg, it's freezing. Oh, no. Terry says, it is all going to be okay. Thank you very much. Sounds like there's hope. It's going to be okay. Uh, wow, none of the data went to the cloud. No, that's a whole other s story. Uh, did they say it will be expensive to recover the data? It's, it's supposed to be free because I only had it for six months and it's under warranty and data recovery is part of that warranty in case anything happens, which I find kind of fishy because I mean, not fishy, but it's like it, your machine should be stronger than that. You know, if I buy that anyways, thank you for Babs. It'll all work out. Dear Lord, please have all of Alison's work not lost nor a van nor in vain and allow them to have the knowledge to recover her data appropriately with no loss. Amen. Amen. I receive it. Thank you, Joanna. Um, Brian, hey, happy Valentine's Day. Hope the hard drive works out. I lost mine a while back and was unable to retrieve the data. I hope your results are different. You will get it back. Thank you so much. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for all the positivity. Remain positive that they will repair it and save your data. They could have said your data was lost and they didn't. That's a good thing. Amen to that. Uh, Unicorn Llama. Yes, this is my, um, it's called a llama corn. But I I call it an alpaca corn because I'm fond of alpacas, and that her name is Sugar Crystal Candy Corn. It may be okay, but I think they will try to fraud, charge you for shock cause or drop cause, meaning owner error. I don't care if they charge me. I mean, I do care, but honestly, like, I just want the stuff back. Grant's excited about the field trip. Yay, Valentine's Day field trip. Get your coats, class. <laughs> field trip. Whoop whoop. Grab your lunch boxes. 
Chris will be, will you be my field trip buddy? Oh, you guys are so cute. Remember when you had those in grams? Everybody pair up, partner up, don't get lost. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me read these and then I'll move on and tell you about this field trip. I'm not sure where my hard drive is with all my kids' videos and pics so, too, so I feel you. Oh my gosh. My grandpa had a 40-foot RV while I was growing up. Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, my God. Now somebody called me. What did I miss? <laughs> I'm having potato soup. Ooh, potato soup. That sounds cozy. Um, Conan O'Brien went to Greenland and did a hilarious series on trying to buy Greenland. The video of his trips on you. Oh, how funny. Uh, let's see. Rhea uh, is still here. Um, changed from my phone to my computer so I could answer Mike when he calls. Okay, awesome. He texted saying thanks for everybody's prayers. Oh, good. Hey, Kiara. Wait, I want to know if you can pronounce my name right. Kiara Medrano? I hope so. Still working on getting my husband on board to full time. We would need a trailer, though. We have the dog and cat. Couldn't do a van. Can't wait to win this fight. Awesome. Van dwelling Brandon. Happy early Valentine's Day to you, too. Do you have a good camp, any good campsite risk? I do not because I don't really go to campsites, but if I do in the future, I will drop them in this live in this chat. Um, I worked in retail. There was a chance that hard drive uh, damaged when you bought it. That's probably true because I didn't have very long. Ooh, thank you, Terry, for the $3. Happy Valentine's Day. Let's give you this. Thank you so much, Terry is tenacious. I also have another um, message. Ooh, Terry's Lesky with the $25. Thank you so much, Terry. Terry is like such a great supporter of the channel and just such a like such an encourager. And I thank you so much, Terry. It's just very, very generous and awesome. And let me give you a shout out. Let's give you... Um, Thank you so much, Terry. Both Terry's. Hey, Stacy. Stacy. Stacy Bennett. Hello. Have you thought about using hand and back warmers for cold nights? Um, so far, I haven't had to, but I will if I need to. I'm still trying to work out my nose warmer situation because my nose keeps getting cold. Uh, but I have maybe a solution, and I'm going to be talking that, about that on a video I have next week. So stay tuned. Um, no, Tracy, we haven't gone on the field trip yet. I'm going to do that in just a couple minutes. Uh, yes, please get, click the like button. Thank you. I've watched it a few times. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, get your jackets. Get your jackets ready. Sugar crackhead candy corn. <laughs> I guess I'll have to go back to the beginning. Uh, let's see. Have I Happy Valentine's Day, TJ. Uh, let's see. Oh, good, Tanya. I still have my jacket. Uh, pink fluffy unicorn dancing on rainbows. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. Nice to join you tonight. Hey, Rachel Joan Fleming. Currently 17 in Niagara Falls, Canada. Looks balmy down there to me. Hey, Aslan Zert. Greetings from Turkey. Awesome. Why do you not, why do you not, you in the motorhome? And what do you think of COVID-19? We're not going to talk about COVID-19, but I'm not sure what your question is about the caravan. Um, in the name of Jesus, your driver will be fully restored. Thank you, Mimi. Grant, yeah, Grant's the chaperone. Uh, you said it right, all of it. <laughs> no one has ever said it right when first meeting. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, let's see. No one even tries your last name, Lindsay Ponciano. Hopefully I said that right. Wear your mask, it keeps mine warm. Yeah, I tried my mask last night and it did help a little bit. I already had my jacket on, okay. Ponciano, yes. I hear geese. So glad you got to try Easy Slider when you were in Dallas. Hey, Alyssa, how are you? Okay, so I think I caught up on all this chat. Okay, so I am at a lake. It's called Pelican Point, and there's a lot of birds and, like, geese, and I don't even know what kind of birds, but there's, like, ducks, and, like, I didn't even go out there yet, so it's a field trip for me, too. I haven't even tried this yet. So I'm going to walk out there. There's a big lake, there's a bunch of birds, and there's like this little like like wooden walking path. So I'm going to take you guys out there. Now, it is cold outside, so I'm going to put my jacket on, and then we're not going to stay out there very long, and then I'm going to come back in, and then we're going to continue. 
with our talk and then with our gains at the end. Um, I already gave you the update. I already talked about the cold. Oh, real quick, before we go outside, I want to answer Terry's question about my um, <clears throat> my mildew smell on my heater. We talked about that last week. Um, so I think it was the next day or maybe Monday, I went to uh, O'Reilly's or maybe I already talked about this. Did I already tell you that I tried to go somewhere and, and have them look at it? Yeah, I think I already told you that. Okay, so after that, and we all talked about all this stuff. So I was going to get some uh, Lysol, because I think Terry mentioned that in the comments, and squirted it in there, and there were some other things I was going to try. Um, but it's been freezing outside, and so I didn't feel like getting out of the van to do any of those things. And then over the past couple days, I've been renting the heater up front, and I haven't smelled it. So now I'm like, was it just some, like you know, some still water that smelled and now because it's freezing, it like froze up and now it doesn't smell or is there still a problem or there's not a problem? So I don't know if there's a problem or not a problem. So now I'm not really sure. <laughs> so, uh, I guess that's where it stands for now, but I am going to try some of the things that happened in the, um, that you guys talked about in the live stream. Um, if I smell it again. Um, all right, so let me just catch up on these comments and then we'll go outside. Uh, let's see. If you come to Central Coast in Oregon this spring or summer, I will show you all the cool, cool, coolest places to check out. Um, is that ducks in the background? Hello. Hey, Victoria. Uh, it's one, negative one in England. Oh, jeez. We got 16 inches of snow in Olympia. Oh my. Hopefully no technical issues. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's a good point. Thank you, AGT. Um, I'm on my iPad. It has uh, wireless or whatever cellular data directly into the iPad. So if we get cut off for whatever reason, I will start a new live stream. It might take a minute because I'm on the iPad. But I don't think we'll get cut off. Uh, but... Just in case we do, I will start another one. Um, when I'm camping, I fill a thermos with hot water. I put it at the end of my sleeping bag to keep my feet warm. And it stays hot till the morning, so I don't have to boil a cup of water. For oh, that's awesome. Hey, Karina, how are you? Lysol and AC intake works. Yes. Okay. My lap last name is the opposite of pants. It's pots. <laughs> hey, Dad. George Cox. That's my dad. Have a great weekend. Sure will. Thanks for joining in. Keep warm from Panhandle, Texas. Awesome. God bless y'all. Need my cup of before I can function. All right. Okay. Let me put my jacket on. Wait. Hold on. I Okay, how do I do this without getting messed up? Okay, make sure I got my keys so I don't lock myself out of the van. Where's my keys? Okay, I'm not gonna be able to read the comments very well when I'm walking, so either hold your comments or know that I might not get to it. So let me just... Hold on to this like this. I'll go out the side. <gasps> Look. There's so many birds. Okay, make sure I got my keys 20 times. I don't know if I can here. Hey, buddy. This is just like right in front of my van. Hey, guys, can I pass here? Wow. 
Don't attack me, please. So majestic. Yeah, they want food. They're like, lady, if you don't have food, keep it moving. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna turn you guys around. Ooh, so pretty. Had some gloves. Ooh, that's so pretty. Oh, that is lovely. like on this live stream if you guys <laughs> like this kind of thing. There's some more ducks and geese. Okay, I'm going back. It's too cold. pretty area. Let's see what this is. Oh, is that nothing? Okay, so that's nothing. Look at these weird little stumps. And there's like a lot of little parking alcoves. I don't think you can park overnight though. And lots of people come out here and, you know, take pictures and stuff. Sorry. Whoa. Okay. Oh my gosh, it was cold. Okay, so I forget who it was that asked. Was it David or somebody asked about my heater? I'm going to show you the heater real quick. Whew. It just looks like this. 
I have to bundle up those wires. And there's the gas tank right there. And here's the display. So I'm actually going to turn it on. So you just push this button, but I'm going to use the remote. Okay, so let me get that situated here. Oh, first let me... Woo! Take off my jacket. I'm rolling down because of the way the van is parked. Wait, where did Sugar Crystal go? Oh. Okay, let's put it right here. Can't really see, but okay. Woo! It is nippy outside. Sorry for the movement. I'm trying to get back situated. Uh, the heater is burning diesel in your cab. The fumes go out vent, but residue is still in heater. I saw a video where they said they had to clean a part of it out where I don't know. Yeah, I think you do have to clean it from underneath. There's like like soot or whatever. Um, so I'd have to do that from under. But I don't think I'd have to do that right this soon. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Hold hands. <laughs> nice flowers. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I just joined. Can someone please tell me where she is located? Uh, I was, I'm at Pelican Point in Dallas, Texas. I think it's like White Rock River Creek or something. Lake. White, White Rock Lake. Okay. Um, let's see. Why do you not live in a motorhome instead of your car? Uh, it's going to be better than you live in a caravan. Uh, I already live in a van, not a car anymore. Why they're close, not bothered. Yeah, those, those geese were, they didn't care about me. <laughs> hey, Cassie Owens, happy Valentine's Day. Cool birds, Allison, your hair looks pretty. Thank you very much, TJ. They probably would attack if you had food. Oh, yeah, I'm not trying to feed those geese because they'll just be all over me. Uh, let's see, watch out, they don't turn you back, <laughs> those evil monsters. Let's see. Dang, the water is very... Yeah, the water was very low, so I don't know. It has rained, though, but I don't know. Uh, wake up a new beautiful place every day. Yes. My dog is lovely. I've already... This is my second time coming here, but the first time I came here, I think it was last week, I just literally parked in the parking lot so I could edit a video, and I, I parked in the afternoon, and by the time I was done editing, it was dark, so I didn't want to get out. Um, so today's the first day that I came back, and... I, this is the first time I went out there, so I'm glad I did. So um, I'm sure I'll come back again because it's very pretty here. Tanya, very romantic Valentine's stroll. Felicity's, Felicity's like, that's enough, that's cool. Yes, a 100-pound pit bull would go crazy for these DBs, yes. A oh, Grant, so nice to get outside again. Uh, let's see. It looks like the Hudson River. No snow looks great for sure. That's the wind chill temps. Beautiful views. Yes, place to park the van. Nice to see some, no snow. I'm sick of seeing snow. Aw. Have you thought about driving out of that weather? Um, Mama Mert, um, not yet because I, there's still some things on the van that I'm working on and it's much easier to do projects um, around my son's house. So if I need to go in and like use the, the saw or the drill or, you know, paint or whatever it's easier to do it indoors um, but I will be leaving soonish I bet the area is stunning when flowers start oh I bet it is <clears throat> oh 88 people holy moly make sure you throw a like on this if you're watching I'm getting ready to photograph sandhill cranes next month oh that is exciting see my keyboard types letters off and on I didn't oh weird Friends have farm. They call the geese their alarm system, I bet. 
Oh, we're in for some snow, forecasting three to six inches Sunday night to Monday. Oh boy. Make it wish stumps from the tree, then tie a ribbon around it. Wish will come true. Oh, weird. Is that a thing? My hands are very cold. <laughs> Mimi says, I love the ducks. Nice park. Runs on diesel. Yes. Uh, it's a very strange to watch this live. It's 1050 here and it's still daylight. Yes, it is. Had to reboot my router. Missed the field. Oh no, AGT. Well, when we're done, you can go back and, and look at it. Allison, read chat later when we're done. I left a message about that heater info I saw. Okay. I will read it. Why not a little electric heater? I have one in my tiny house and it heats it up nicely. Almost runs me out of here. Um, I don't really need to now because I have the diesel heater. Also, I went to Jimmy John's before. Not sponsored. But I had their little mini John thing. Hubby saw caravan out on the coast in San Francisco near one of his jobs. Came home telling me how cool it would be. Um, what do you think I've been begging you to start looking into it? Ooh, that's awesome. Yeah, White Rock Lake. Yes. Thank you, Chris. Idea. Get a metal can for the diesel so it would be safer if something even is so accident be safe. This is the container that the heater came in. It's like a plastic um, but I mean I guess a metal can would definitely be better but I don't keep I only keep it in that container that goes directly to the machine I don't have like an extra can oh, let's see oh no Grant lost the internet um, hey two tents how are you I'm doing good how are you uh, switching from PC to phone. Dang. It, I had to go into my son's house today to do some stuff and his internet was like not really working and I don't know if it's because of the cold uh, but I re had to do like reboot his router or whatever so I think there's a lot of problems because of the cold. According to Google there is a winter storm warning for Dal Dallas. Yes. It's supposed to, to be freezing in the next few days and snow. In true form, I lost my trip, buddy. Oh no. Let's see. Negative 50 in Manitoba. That's, I can't. That's too cold. I enjoy the outdoor hike. Sub zero here. Oh, dang. Is air really fresh and crisp? Yes. That's the thing I do love about the cold weather. I, like, it is cold. My hands are really cold right now. Um, but I do like that crisp feeling of going outside, and it's very nice. So I don't really mind too much. Yeah, I know the <laughs> the forecast for Dallas Fort Worth. Uh, it's supposed to be freezing. I'm not prepared. I need a tissue. My nose is running. Hold on, let's see. I have some toilet paper. Okay, let's see. Hey, JW Bob 19, how are you? Wow, two tenths, that's bone chilling cold. Uh, hey, Greg Johnson from Arkansas, awesome. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. Victoria, have you ever been to the South Fork Ranch? I'd have to go there if I, I haven't heard of that. I'm gonna write it down. South Fork Ranch. I haven't been, so I'll have to check that out. Jimmy John's, yes, just another day in paradise. Oh, no internet out of the blue. That sucks, Grant. I, You know I feel your pain on that. Are you still having issues with the front curtain uh, as glue magnets would work, maybe? Uh, you know what? I made that video about how I was going to fix this curtain. And it did work for uh, like a few days and then the wire started pulling out of the, the part. So it wasn't even the part that I screwed in. It was actually the wire that wasn't tight enough in there. So now I bought, oh, I don't know if I can reach it. Oh no, I can. I bought this curtain rod that's kind of like the same situation, but it's more sturdy. It's not a wire, but I haven't 
felt like putting that up yet. So that's a project for another day. That's like a, a back burner project. Um, how you grab the cup? Like, nope, I got a diesel heater now. <laughs> if I was single, I'd be in a van today. I feel you. Oh yeah. Life upstate New York. Hey, Mary Kane, how are you? Hey, Jeannie, how are you? Front and curtain, why not Velcro? Um, the sides don't really bother me that much. It's just the way that it dips in the middle. That's really what's been bugging me. Happy Valentine's Day to you too, Mary. Uh, you are hitting the coffee bone appetite. I don't know what that means. Coffee bone appetite. 19 in upstate New York feels like 10. Toilet paper tissue, same thing. Gets the job done. True. You need to stay with container you can see through so you can see when it goes empty. Yeah, that's true, because then how would I know when I fill it up? That's a good point. I'd be in a bus. Diesel push it. 38. I don't know, man. Like, driving this thing, it's already, like, you know, I'm, like, already, not to say in my max, but I, I don't like it to be that much longer. So, unless I had, like, a partner who liked to drive, then I'm just going to stay with something like a van. I don't guess you want to know that my first winter in Dallas, the ice storm left the city without power for 10 days. That was a 1977-78 winter. Oh my gosh. Well, the good news for me is that I have my diesel heater. And as long as they're selling diesel, I can keep this thing running. Like, as long as I want. So that's positive. Not positive for a lot of other people, but we'll have to keep their prayers going for that. Willa, uh, uh, yes, we did the field trip, but you can always scroll back when it's done. Um, will you stay in the van or at your son's home during the cold? I'm going to stay in my van. As long as my heater's working, I'm okay. But I've been staying in my van this whole time. And I just, I feel more comfortable in my own van because I got my own stuff here, my clothes. And it's just easier. I don't want to keep dragging stuff into his house. I only go really into his house for showers. Um, and like, uh, if I need to like build some stuff or whatever. And sometimes I'll cook stuff in his oven because... I haven't started cooking in here, but for the most part, I've just been in my van. Are you glad you have a van and a lot more comfortable? I am glad to have this van. It's even like the more I get done, the more I feel like at home. Um, so yes, it is great, but there's also some downfalls to van compared to car, which I'll probably do a video on that. Oh, also, um, Terry had asked about the trim work. I did kind of finish some of the trim. I just need to paint over. This is just caulking. Um, over here and I did finish some of the trim so um, yeah it's just an ongoing project uh, I actually sold a converted van and box truck this past year both were fully converted and perfect for a single but alas and oh dang that's awesome though um, let's see Diane Cisneros in relation to Carolina and Arlington um, got my caravan all set up yesterday and today I got the electric and ooh, that's awesome Jeannie. I'm so excited for you. Uh, thank you, Mary. I appreciate that. Um, I remember the winter of 78, it was rough everywhere. Whew. I think that's like happening a lot of places right now. This, this winter has been excessively cold. Party in Allison's van if power goes out. <laughs> whoop whoop. Ooh, snacking on haagen -Dazs. Ooh, awesome. It was nice to check in and hang out for a bit. Dinner's ready. Catch up soon on a live. Have a great evening. Thanks for checking in, Babs. Have a great dinner. Is this cold normal for Dallas? I don't know because I'm not from Dallas, but it seems like it's not. But if you're from Dallas, let me know. Um, let's see. My internet's back. Oh, awesome, Grant. Thanks for the shout out. I'm originally from Golden Triangle in Texas. Oh, awesome. Hey, Tina is the outsider. Uh, let's see, let's see. All right, awesome. Um, smart girl all layered up now. That is the way to keep warm. Yes. This is, like, not really a layer. This is just, like, so thin, but I thought it was cute because it had, like, little cute sayings, hugs, and cheer. And it's a dollar. Can't go wrong with a dollar. Um, interior looks really nice in your band, by the way. Thank you very much. I'm going to um, do like a whole, you know, like film all of it and like how I've set it up and stuff. Um, I'm going to do that soon because I want to do that before I leave Texas. 
so I can have my son hold the camera so I can just walk around and show everything off. And yeah, I'm getting to that point where I'm getting ready to go. Let's see. I drained my cooler last night, forgot to, forgot to put the plug back in, woke up to a slight flood. Oh no. Oh yeah, can't beat it for a dollar. Yes, dollar store is my jam. I go there all the time. Um, I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul video this coming week because I just went to the Dollar Tree and bought a bunch of snacks and a bunch of other stuff. Um, and then I have tomorrow's video, I believe. It should come up tomorrow. It's uh, like another day in life and there's some stuff in there about I bought, um, I went to, to buy some plants for the van. Uh, so you get to see about that. And I tried some another new food place and so it should be fun uh let's see i was gonna talk to you about something else but i don't know i gotta get hold on i gotta get more situated because i'm like leaning back <laughs> too too much um okay so what is everybody doing for valentine's day uh first of all is are most people on here single or partnered up let me know in the comments if you're single or partnered up i like the granola bars at dollar tree a box of six for a dollar yes the granola bar selection is pretty good there um what are you doing for valentine's day S a secret sweetie <laughs> only the lord i don't have a secret sweetie update for mike he's out of the snow and on his way back to the truck yard should be home in a couple hours not in time to join the chat but he's okay and says thanks for oh awesome praise god and tell him to stay warm and hopefully you guys can have an enjoyable evening when he gets home all right so we got married single 25 years this year oh awesome that's a great accomplishment mary single karina cleaning house on valentine's day mom single 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 we got a lot of singles up in here uh agt single uh lone peddler single karina single Calling my sweetie in Connecticut. I am in Niagara Falls. Have been since last year, February 2nd. Oh, awesome. Felicity says, happy. Says, I'm single, just finalizing a divorce. Uh, I've finalized two divorces in my life, so I know how that is. Jane's got single. Uh, Lindsay got a ball and chain through going into the city to explore. Oh, awesome. The Andy girl, single. Terry says, single and nothing. Donna says, single. Uh, married together 20 years Mary Faye that's awesome Grant uh, shout out to Mike uh, Mike for being safe yes Valentine's Day is four times a week if I'm good <laughs> I'm house and dog sitting for V-Day single just chillin single uh, I wait till the day after Valentine's when all the candy snacks are on sale single that's a great plan single now uh, have a great boyfriend. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Congrats on the divorce. Married for this old man. Single. 15 kids. Oh, dang. Uh, let's see. Single and frozen. Single. Um, Terry's, Terry is tenacious. Ball and chain. Diana. Uh, single. Holy Jeebus. 15 kids. I know. The 15 kids. Uh, no, I'm too tired for that. Jeez, correction, shout out or to Mike for being safe. Not sure how that title happened. Celebrating with my son tomorrow. Oh, he's 10. That's awesome. Uh, Helene says single. And let's see. My mother is, let's see, is my base. 12 of them are my sister and my mother. I don't know what that means. Um, have you been to the UK and how do you send money from pounds to dollars as not sure of the difference single divorce uh, I have not been to the UK yet but I do want to go there and I'm not sure about the, the currency exchange um, metallic single and plan to spend V-Day with my daughter and grandson awaiting news my grandson's stepmom is in labor does my grandson have a stepbrother makes me a step nanny that's a that's like a tricky question I don't know uh, so that's I four in uh, Wisconsin Obviously married here 12 years last November. 12 years is a long time also. We'll have a nice Valentine's Day when he gets home. Aww. A lot of single people in here 
pattern patterned up went snowshoeing here and oh partnered up went snowshoeing here oh that's awesome um i was wrong it's popeyes for chocolate okay i'll check that out joanna i just asked for them at taco bell and thought oh dang they're like uh you can have some churros or some whatever but we don't have those here <laughs> but hey at least you tried system will do it where dollar sign is single uh I'm claiming the title anyway, so excited. Single. Okay, so you guys know that I'm single, but I'm okay with that. But Valentine's Day is tricky for me because Valentine's Day has always been like my second favorite holiday. And I've always, because I always love love, like I'm just a very, that's like, I love hearts and I love love and all that. So I always got into Valentine's Day and then like, I don't know. I can't even count back that far like years ago my second ex-husband ruined Valentine's Day for me because some stuff happened that I found out right before Valentine's Day and now it's like a bitter sweet thing because I still love Valentine's Day but it's always like a terrible reminder of some things that happened and like that's basically what like started the trickle down of our divorce and it's fine now we're friends now <laughs> I don't hate him but it was a terrible time so it's just like it's such a weird day for me because it's like I want to be like joyful and happy and I am and I just take it like another day but I do appreciate seeing people like being loving to each other and I I'm like really happy for other people that have partners and do fun things and stuff like that but I'm just telling you this because if you're single and you're like, first of all, if you're like, I hate Valentine's Day, try not to hate it because, well, if you want to hate it because of the commercialism, I do, but try not to hate love and stuff like that because love is not the problem people are. <laughs> Maybe I'm not explaining this very well, but try to be loving and try to be happy for people because we all have love around us. It may not be like with partner we want or whatever, but you know, it's still like a great loving day. And try not to let past things ruin future goodness for you. So I'm going to just like, I, I first of all, I'm blazing hot in here. That's how fast this heater works. So I'm going to turn this off. Um, so tomorrow, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, since the Sunday, some things might be closed. And also, it might have a lot of people out because of people that are partnered up in couples so I think I'm gonna try to go for like a nice brunch by myself because here in Texas some of the restaurants are still open like you could dine in but I think I'm gonna go have a nice like take myself out to in like a nice brunch and then I think I'm just gonna relax all day um, I do have to finish editing well if I don't finish editing tonight I'll have to finish editing the video for tomorrow but then I think I'm just going to like lay around and try not to do anything because I've been just really go, go, go all the time. And I just want a break, you know, and it seems like this is a great time to do it on Valentine's Day and just be like calm and have a nice relaxing day. Um, let's see. <laughs> Seth, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. My wife and I forgot it was Valentine's Day tomorrow. Oh, dang. Diane says, hi, just started watching your channel. I've enjoyed watching. Oh, married 34 years to high school. Sweet, are all stay warm. Thanks. Uh, that's awesome. And thank you for watching. And thank you for being part of the snack pack. Uh, Mary Kane, are you going to get a pet now that you have more room? No, I will not be getting a pet. Uh, this is my only pet. This is, she doesn't even take up much room and she doesn't eat a lot. Um, I've never had a great Valentine's Day. Oh, dang. I've had a lot of good Valentine's Days, but then it got real bad real fast. <laughs> Tanya, oh, you're truly with us. Yay. Thank you. All you single are lucky ones. Much easier way to live. Don't tell my hubby I said that. Hey, this, this is a channel to keep it real. Uh, let's see. I don't get that. 
that love or that heart. Father's Day hurts for me when the ex bought me a gift and gave it to me and said I had a week to get out. That's harsh. So you know about like when you have holidays and it like lingers in your mind like what happened in the past. But yeah. Lindsay, uh, she needs a fur baby. I don't like, I think I'd be less, like I think it'd be nice to have a, a pet like and just having something around. But also it'd be too much work and too much to like make sure that that thing is taken care of all the time. Um, be your own Valentine. If you can't love yourself, you can't love anyone else. Facts. Uh, sounds perfect. If I were in Texas, I'd go find a good place and get a nice steak. <laughs> Can you see my comment? Uh, I don't know, Willa. I, I'm not sure if you're saying stuff that I haven't seen. Um, I think of Jesus as my husband and Valentine's Day doesn't make me sad. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's like Valentine's Day. I still like it. Um, there's just always that little twinge of bitterness. Not even bitterness. It's just like that, like feeling of that sucked. Like going through what that time period in my life really was terrible, and it's just like, dang, that really sucked. And I wish it was different sometimes. But also, things have to happen in order for other things to happen. So, like you know, I don't know if I'd be doing this. Well, I wouldn't be doing this right now if I was still married. So, I mean, you know, it's pros and cons. Um, and yes, praise God. Um, as much beef in Texas, she should be able to open her door and have some. <laughs> All she needs is a grill. I mean, that's true. You should record a simple video tomorrow at brunch. Just share and don't get fancy. Maybe. Maybe. Go love yourself and enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Sugar crystal candy corn, yes. Going to build a cargo van and van or van and still looking. Hoping to end up around Q during the winter when I retire. Is that quartzite or just something different? Allison is very independent. A dog would hold her back. I think so too. Um, Breadwinners is a quintessential Dallas brunch spot. A few, a few locations are, oh, Breadwinners, okay. Okay, I'm gonna check that out. I never did care much about Valentine's Day. If my partner doesn't acknowledge me throughout the year, why would one scheduled day matter? I mean, that's true too. Like if you got a partner that's just like only does stuff on one day or holiday, I w I'm not for that either. Do you guys hear those geese just right outside of my van? Brian says, true story. Look up a teacup Pomsky. Oh my gosh. I think I know what you're talking about. Those little tiny little Pomeranian doggy little fluffers. That would be cute, but still, I don't think. Uh, I'm a VD septic. I struggle with people needing to set a day aside to be loving, kind, kind of sad, live life 365. Oh, a Valentine's Day skeptic. Okay. Live, love 365, not once a year. Oh, no, I love also like every day. I'm like, a, I love love, but also it's just like nice to be like, you know, celebrating it. Uh, you cannot truly, you cannot travel freely with a pet, sad but true. I mean, there's a lot of van life people or RV people or just people that live in cars and everything that have pets. Um, but it's just, it's definitely extra. It's extra work. And it's like, you cannot go into certain places with pets. Um, and I don't want that restriction. So it's just going to be a no for sure for me. It's bedtime here in Blighty. I hope you enjoy your Valentine's Day. Thank you very much, Victoria, and have a great evening. Don't look for love. Look to make yourself happy. Um, I have things to say about that because um, I agree in a sense to make yourself happy. But also, I'm going to keep this short because I don't like to keep going on certain things. And I got a couple um, notifications here. Um, I think that over the past few years, I do agree with self-love and like all that, but I feel like self-love has overtaken to the point of selfishness. I mean, some people really need to care for themselves, but then there's just like so many people that are focused on self and that's really not 
the way we're supposed to be as human beings. We're supposed to be loving towards one another and like inclusive and like caring for one another and people, you know, just always thinking about themselves and canceling plans and just being like, well, I just got to do me and I just got to care about myself. It's like, yeah, but also you got to care about other people too because we're not supposed to be like living on an island. So I do agree with what you're saying, like take care of yourself, but also we should be nice to each other and considering other people, you know, like call your single friends, call, even call your married friends, to be honest. Cause like a lot of, not a lot, well, maybe a lot of marriages are like lonely and sad. People are going through a lot of things. So like, you know, I know some people aren't handling Valentine's day very well. Um, so check on your people. Um, I would worry about my pet in the camper during summer. Yes. That's the thing I'd worry most is like when it gets hot because it, it's already like super hot for me when like when I was in my car that was the hardest was when it was like very hot and I was just sweating and I'm like gosh I can't even imagine if you have fur and you're just like you'd have to I don't know that'd be so hard I'd be so worried about my pet um when in love you have to lose yourself in it and hopefully your partner will do the same that's kind of true um ink gypsy adventures oh my god I finally made it. yay welcome who were those geese attacking? They're going to, I know they were freaking out. Maybe somebody tried to feed them. Like you guys said, <laughs> yes, pets are a lot of responsibility. Yes. Um, my son has a dog and I see just him with his dog having like, and he has a regular apartment and everything. And it's a lot of work still. So I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't think I've been do it. Embrace what happened. It has brought you to today. I am grateful for all I have been through. It made me. Yes, indeed. I agree. Like thumbs up. Yes, indeed. Happy Valentine's Day to you, Joey Jennings. Oh, Pom you have a Pomeranian? Oh, those dogs are cute. Dogs make for good security pros and cons. Yes. Silly goose. My son is a chihuahua. Yes. Troll's busy tonight, huh? I know. Grant's, you know, he's battling people in and out of this <laughs> chat tonight. Uh, let's see. I would love a French bulldog. Uh, let's see. I also agree. I said we'll have a nice Valentine's Day when he gets home, but we don't usually celebrate it. We don't feel the need to. That's awesome, too. The other day I spoke French and he started kissing my arm. I think Adam's family. <laughs> think Adam's family. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Please do more live. All right. Uh, let's see. I understand mine has many ways of spelling. Hey, April Jordan from Michigan. Um, is it better? Let's see. Taking care of others is taking care of self. Yes. Uh, let's see. Mine stopped me in the middle of cooking when a good song came on and had me dance again. Like, oh, this world we live in needs a whole lot of love. Yes, I agree. Dogs are like children. True. How many miles did you put on your car during car life before selling it? Ooh, Jane, that's a good question. I don't actually remember. I actually don't remember. I don't think it was like, is that super many? But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I kind of put it out of my mind because like getting rid of my car is, was very sad for me. Like I took it pretty hard. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but it, I think because that car got me through a lot and I loved that car. It had everything I needed. And I don't know, it just was kind of like, it's so dramatic to be like, that was an extension of myself. It's not that dramatic, but I don't know. Like I felt so sad letting that car go. And I don't remember like what the mileage was or anything when I let it go. So I can't really remember. Um, let's see. There are many that love you on this channel. Oh, thank you so much, Grant. I appreciate that. Animal lovers are dedicated. Yes. Agree about love. We need to live, to live on love on others. Yes. I would get an air conditioner on top of my van and take my two dogs. If they can't go with me, I don't go except the grocery store. Yes. Like if you have a pet, like, listen, I know some people are, you know, well, most people with pets, like that's, they're firmly like that comes first. And of course, you know, you're dealing with a living thing. So of course you need to take care of your, your people or your pets. Hey, Gina K. Landis, snack chat. No self-love, but self-respect and comes not self-love, but self-respect and comes from our interactions with others. That's how we learn to like ourselves. Yes. True. 
I have an old black cat and he is going with me in the caravan. I'm a cat person. Oh, awesome. I do like cats too. We are one hour and 20 minutes. Oh, awesome. Uh, let's see. Thank you guys so much. You guys are sweet. I'll be your Valentine. <laughs> it's okay to cry when you let go of a car. Cars do so much for us. That's true. Uh, I love your videos and funny, inspiring. Thank you, Amy Cook. I appreciate that. Um, hey, Nelly, how are you? I've been watching, but also making a big pot of <gasps> dumpling chicken soup. Oh, man. Still so cold. I pray all is surviving the cold. Oh, I'm single, by the way. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Um, I got two notifications here. Uh, James Bob sent $5 for my venture. Awesome. And this is from Cash App. So that's awesome. Thank you so much, James. Let me give you a shout. Let's give you this one. He shoots, he Thank you so much. I truly appreciate the donation to the snack fund. Uh, that's going to go for, let's see. Oh, I had to buy a new tripod because my tripod broke. So that's going to go towards that. And, oh, Brian Rose, thank you so much for the $10. I truly appreciate that. Let me give you a shout. Let's give you, I'm going to give you a yodel. Hey. Thank you so much, Brian, and, whoa, I lost my place. Uh, thank you so much, Brian and James. I truly appreciate the snack fund donations. Those go towards all kinds of things, and this week, I'm going to, I think I'm going to start trying to get some, um, go to some taco places, and somebody told me I should be getting some chimichangas as well, so I think I need to start doing that, um, so we'll see, um, but I appreciate that. Um, let's see. And of course, I'll make a video about all the taco experiences. Uh, let's see. My cat is my favorite. He comes when he's called and everything. Oh, dang. He's also attached to my hip, but I love him so, so much. So many. I finally made it onto a live. Allison, you look beautiful, my friend. Happy month. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Um, awesome. All right. So chimichanga's crunchy. I don't know. I've never had a chimichanga, so I'm not sure. But everyone, but a couple people said I need to have chimichangas. It's negative 10. That's 14 Fahrenheit. Oh, dang, Jeannie. That's too cold. You look fuzzy. You may want to clean your lens or move. You are in center and in focus oh weird is that better <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm i'm a new ipad owner so i see the camera but is it better hey tanil how are you oh Lindsay says they're fried burrito kind of i think i yeah i know I know what you're talking about, this chimichangas. I think it's going to be delicious. I think it's going to be really good. Also, I did say that I'm going to, like, after Valentine's Day, I'm going to start cooking in the van and eating better. So I need to stick to my own word. So um, one thing that I did buy uh, last week, I bought um, a, what's it called? A Ninja Foodie. Um, now it was expensive. But... My thought process is if I can just use one tool, one machine to cook all the things, then it would like be better. But I don't know if it's going to be too much wattage on my solar or my batteries. So I need to test it and I really hope it doesn't like explode anything. But the Ninja Foodie, um, like I've like watched a lot of review videos and it not only pressure cooks, which is great because it'll reheat food. And I can make vegetables and stuff. But it also slow cooks. And it also has an air fryer. And you can saute. And you can bake in it. So I can bake cookies. And like little cakes. And I could do oatmeal. It's like a lot of things all in one. So uh, I'm going to try that coming up soon. And if that works. Then I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be better. But I do need to start eating better. Because as you can tell. My face has gotten super puffy. 
and it's not a good look so i need to calm down on all this fried food but i am going to still try the chimichanga hey yasmin how are you watching and doing laundry okay um oh let's just brag about negative <laughs> temperatures uh it's like an Instapot. Yeah. So I have like a knockoff Instapot right now that my mom um, gave me when I left. Um, and that works great. And because I do the pressure cooking on that and it heats up vegetables and potatoes and beans and stuff that I like to eat. But um, it doesn't have an air fryer or like a real way to bake anything. Um, so I opted for the Ninja Foodie because it has the air fryer. And there's going to be some things that I'm going to want to cook like that. So um if if that works then i'm gonna leave the my knockoff instapot at my son's house so i don't have clutter in the van um hey may riser may riser uh i found you just this week and i have been binging your videos for the past couple days glad i caught my first live awesome thank you for being here you look good making homemade pizza oh awesome thank you um hey fun fact 30 days till time change spring Hallelujah, Nelly. That's like the greatest news ever. I hate the time change. I hate it, hate it when it gets dark so early. It just messes me up. Um, so thank you for that great piece of information. Uh, yes, those are must. They do everything. Okay, Lindsay. I got a thumbs up from Lindsay in terms of the uh, Ninja Foodie. Um, you have some iron skillets with you. I don't. Oh, I have. Um, is it an iron skillet? I don't know. I bought something. I don't think it's iron though, but it works on an induction cooktop. It's just one pan. It's like a, it's a kind of like a wok shape, but I don't know. I'll show you maybe next time. Um, so I have that and that's in case I want to just fry something up. Making veggie soup. That sounds really nice on a cold day. Driving back to Miami tonight. I have two and I found a lot of places are accepting of pets. Oh, awesome. Um, Miami was also great. I hear dogs and geese outside. I have my window coverings on, so I can't see out. Okay, it says, oh, Joanna says, not fuzzy to me. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. They need to make those 12 volt, those in 12 volt. There are so many people that use those. In exactly. Terry is tenacious. I think so, too. My friend loves her Ninja Foodie, especially the air fryer. Okay, good. I heard really good reviews from that. Um, I have an electric grill for my grill for my caravan, and it's cool. Plus, try more fruit. Yes, I do need to eat more fruit and vegetables. When I was eating fruits and vegetables when I was doing the van build, I was like, felt so good. And um, now I'm finally at that point where I'm ready to start cooking. So I'm going to start including more salads and fruits and veggies and oatmeals and stuff. My mom got to separate, got the separate attachment for Insta to air fry slips. Oh, awesome. Is a chimichanga like a taquito? I think a chimichanga is more like a chalupa, but like a burrito, but I don't know. Because I do like a good taquito. Totally agree on the time change. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jello Martini TV. Just got here. It's freezing in Dallas. Stay warm. Girl. Yes, it is. It is freezing. It is so cold. Do you know where you will park tonight or will you drive around until you find a location? Um, I will probably end up, I don't know, actually. Um, most likely I'll probably just go park in my son's um, community where he lives. Um, but I don't know. I just kind of like wing it and just decide whenever it gets dark. <laughs> Um, let's see. All right. We've been on here for a while. So let's see. Okay. So today I have, um, three kind of games that I want to like, they're very basic. I have one, would you rather question? I have one, what would you do question? And then I have one, what is your favorite question? Um, so let's see which one we should do first. And they're all kind of Valentine's day or like dating related. So I thought we'd keep it in theme. Um, so let me see. 
Let's do the, what is your favorite first? Okay, because it talks about food and we'll probably talk on that for a while. Northern California in the 60s today, my dog's barking at the dog's barking outside here, fan. Uh, that's funny. Um, bring on the games. Is a burrito chili, is a burrito chili in a wrap? I have never seen them in the UK. Ch a burrito is be beans in a tortilla, a wrap, yes. Uh, usually it's beans or beef and usually cheese or whatever, but burritos can be made different ways. Um, but a burrito is delicious. You don't have burritos? You don't have burritos in the UK? I'm, I can't. I, I don't understand that. A burrito, it's like refried beans, usually. You could do one with black beans, but I think a burrito is typically, like for me, a, like a true burrito is refried beans with cheese, and then people put like salsa or other toppings in there. AGT, I'm going to win. All right, you guys are ready? Okay, so this is a, what is your favorite? So this is um, a Valentine's Day edition. So what is your favorite Valentine's Day treat? And I'm just going to list off a few things, but feel free to fill in the blank of something that I have missed. But is your favorite those little candy hearts with the sayings, chocolate-covered strawberries, cheesecake, champagne, or a box of chocolates, or maybe I'm missing some things, but what is your favorite Valentine's Day treat? And if you don't really celebrate Valentine's Day, that's okay, but like, what would be your favorite treat to eat with your lover, or like a partner, or just by yourself, that's like romantic? What do you think is your favorite treat? Um... Wait, you don't, you don't have burritos in Canada or we're talking about something else. Okay. So Jello Martini says cheesecake. Oh yes. I have Chipotle chili flakes in my cupboard. Oh, and that's different. Chipotle is a restaurant out here. Oh, Karina, you like the candy hearts? Oh, Lundy Lover chocolate truffles. Oh. J1010 Mountain Dew. That's your that's your uh, Valentine's Day treat. I can't do Mountain Dew. Like every once in a while I might get a craving, but Mountain Dew is like too much for me. Too sweetsy. Chocolate covered strawberries are delicious. If it isn't chocolate, I don't bother, says Rhea. Chocolate cheesecake is the best if I could eat it. Mmm, that sounds good. Chocolate covered cherries, Mimi. I am very particular about chocolate covered cherries. I don't like the ones with like the weird like syrup stuff in it. Um, but if it's like, you know, more like natural, I think that'd be really good. Box of milk chocolates for Gina. Cheesecake all the time for metallic reality. AGT says champagne. Terry says coconut clusters from Walgreens. I don't think I've had the coconut clusters from Walgreens. Cheesecake is good too. Cheesecake for Amy. I have a crush on travel snacks. <laughs> is this my secret uh, Valentine? Oh, fake Frito says you forgot jewelry. No, we're talking about edible stuff. Grant says none of the above. Oh, Grant. Grant, what do you, do you even ever get any sweets? Like, um, we're talking about because Grant is a diabetic. Um, so... How do you get anything sweet or do you just don't? You just skip it? Reese's, because I've seen some things at the store that's like, you know, sugar-free stuff, but I don't really know how that works. Reese's peanut butter cups or chocolate filled with peanut butter. Yum, Jane. That's like, look at, this is my special treat um, for my Valentine. Have you guys had these? Reese's with pretzels. They're delicious. So I got two of them. These are from the Dollar Tree. That's my special treat for myself. Um, chimichanga is kind of like a fried burrito. Yes. Chocolate raspberry truffle ice cream from Brewster's. Ooh. I was listening to a podcast 
yesterday and somebody said on the podcast that one of their favorite treats was black garlic ice cream. And I had to Google that. So I guess if there's like black garlic, it's kind of like a little more sweet. So now I feel like I'm on a mission that I need to go find some black garlic ice cream. I'm actually going to write it down because I meant to after I listened to that podcast. And I'll report back to you if I find that. It, it could be gross, but I don't know. Um, Cadbury cream eggs. The ex loves them. Uh, I like those too, but uh, like I could only eat like one of those. Then it should be chocolate. Okay. Edible arrangements. Is that the one with the fruits? Hey, Ty Givens. How are you? I'm well. TJ says cheesecake. Tanya did not know this. None out this way. Oh, dang. Triple chocolate Godiva cheesecake from Grand Lux Cheesecake Fair. Ooh, that sounds very good. <laughs> Jello martini. Hey, Sheila. How are you? Happy Valentine's Day. Stay warm. Been in the 20s in Ohio for a couple weeks. <sighs> Felicity says cheesecake. Helene says roses. I only knew that from watching Foodie Beauty. I don't know what that is, Foodie Beauty. Sam's Club cheesecake is awesome. Yum. Um, let's see. Antoinette says cheesecake. You got a lot of you love the cheesecake. I like cheesecake. I don't love cheesecake. Um, I mean, it's very good, but it's not like my top thing. Brian says cheesecake with raspberry sauce. I also like Airheads candy. Airheads are pretty good. Roses and Reese's for me, says Tanya. Um, two cars cherries are so good. I've never had that. Edible undies on the other half count. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure your partner, whoever's partner would love that. Those hot chocolate molten lava cakes are pretty good. Oh, yeah, they are. No food. Got jewelry twice. Oh, dang. I'm putting my heater back on because it's hard to get cold. Season is great. Just having this is like the greatest thing. Because before I would have to get out of bed, go all the way over there, push the thing, and blah, blah, blah. It was crazy. Um, oh, having a slice of chocolate cherry cake with new york ice cream oh that sounds good chocolate cover sure is in champagne Ooh, that's nice i don't like champagne but i do like a good chocolate cover strawberry cheesecake strawberry sauce mm. grand zybeck to type one and we can eat anything else just oh, okay i did not know that Love regular Reese's. Yeah, regular Reese's are the jam. Wow, can't handle the sugar in in those. There are diabetic chocolates, Russell Stover's, but really expensive. Four peanut butter cups for like $5. Holy. They need to make it like free for diabetics. I think that's like, that should be a thing. Like if you're a diabetic and you already can't experience some great things, then they should just give you free sweets that you can't eat. That's my declaration. With pretzels well first time i've seen that yeah it was like these were just at the counter at the dollar tree like just next to the register they weren't even in the regular section and i was like "Ooh, let me try and then now i'm like oh they're so good micah will you be my valentine <laughs> i'm everybody's valentine i love all the people i've got a chicken pot pie ready to go in the oven for when mike gets home it's one of his Ooh, that's so nice Rhea. and also that's uh a wonderful meal and I this week I bought a plant-based chicken pot pie it's in my son's freezer because I've got to bake it um, so I'm gonna try that this week and see how that tastes but it's probably not as good as the reg the real stuff Chris says cheesecake I'm actually type 2 and can eat in moderation just choose not to that's also good to know um, hey Kendra uh, from chef life van life you guys should be following her channel How's it going, Kendra? How's your van coming along? Um, I have tasted licorice roasted almonds. They're okay. Oh, interesting. I've never had that. Don says, I'm a full-time RVer like you. Class B van RV. Oh, awesome. Grant, look at Dollar Store because they get Russell Stover's off and on. That's true. I've seen those Russell Stro Stover's at the Dollar Store. Chocolate turtles. Oh, I love those. Mom loves chocolate turtles. Has caramel and nuts inside. It's delicious. For sure, type one so I can cheat a little easier. Just take a shot. Ooh, Don, I love Mexican fried ice cream. It's so good. 
Have you guys had that fried ice cream? It's so good. I haven't had that in so long. I agree, Allison. The, sh the sugar syrup and maraschino cherries are too much. Yes. I don't like that flavor. Never had cheesecake, Craig. Try it. I don't love cheesecake either. It's good, but like, I gotta be in the mood for it. Reese's are bomb, true. With a fountain Coke. Actually, that's what this is. I, I hardly ever get Coke, but I've been stuck on soda lately. I don't know. But I don't think I've ever had Reese's with a Coke. But I'm not opposed to it. I like cheesecake with caramel and chocolate poured all over it. That's very decadent. I had to get a hotel in Texas too dang, too dang cold for RV life. Um, if I wasn't near my, well, actually, maybe it's like a false sense of security or like a little sense of security, I should say, because I've been staying in my van every night, but I do know in the back of my mind that if it gets too, too cold, I could go to my son's, but I don't. But if I didn't have this heater, I'm pretty sure I'd be in his, his place more nights. Um, but so far, can you guys hear the heater? Is it loud? Because somebody asked earlier if it's loud. Um, but yeah, if you need to get a hotel, there's nothing wrong with that. And always, if you guys, any of you are living in a van, RV, car, whatever, try to sock a little money aside, even if it's a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, and keep a little stash that's like at least a hundred or two hundred dollars for nights if you need to get a hotel, because you don't want to be stuck just out there, you know? So that's a great, that's a great, uh, compromise to get a hotel if you need to. One dollar store also get hot apple cider sugar free sometimes. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds toasty. I would love to taste fried ice cream. Oh, you should try it. It's so good. Chris says love Reese's. Uh, let's see. I wonder if my wants to. Oh, awesome. Sheila says pizza. I mean, you can't go wrong with pizza. You. You go be doing Valentine's Day. I'm not sure if, if you're meaning like, what am I going to do? But I'm just going to relax. Um, I have a great fried, right, fried ice cream recipe on my cooking channel. So good. It's easy to, ooh, free sweets. Yes. Yes. I agree. If I ever become any kind of political figure, which I probably won't, then I will declare free sweets, free sugar, free sweets for diabetics. There's a garlic festival in Northern California, and they sell garlic ice cream. Never had it, but heard of it. Is that um, in um, Gilroy? Because that's where they have the garlic. Chicken pot pie is delicious. Uh, Americans have the best sweets. We have a couple of shops here that sell them, but a regular pack of crisps, chips costs $7. I prefer UK chocolate, though. $7 for chips. Holy... I love garlic, but I'm, but not thinking it's going in my ice cream. <laughs> I'm on Humalog and Lent is also... Oh, are these for diabetic situations? Just about ready to leave, and I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so excited for your journey, Kendra. I don't think anyone likes champagne. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I've seen people, that they're always ordering champagne, like at restaurants and stuff. Had fried ice cream once, so good. Yes, it is so good. Strawberry cheesecake with whipped cream, yum. No way, that's like onion strawberry, what? <laughs> I have to try the garlic ice cream because how can I not? Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. Yes, Coke, I just treated myself tonight too. Awesome. Uh, I feel the calories building up, I know. Can hear the, the heater, but it's not loud. Okay, that's how I feel too. It's like I can hear it, but it doesn't feel very loud. Or it doesn't seem very loud. Um, Ray, have you heard from Mike? Sorry, I had to drop off for an hour to feed the horses. The heater sound is okay. Okay, awesome. Can't believe how many people have not tried deep fried ice cream. I know. It's delicious. Cherry soda is my favorite soda. I don't mess with Coke or Pepsi. I do like a good cherry soda. In fact, I can't find it right now. But I bought um, uh, like a cherry soda at the dollar store. And it's delicious. I'll try the fried ice cream next state fair. Oh, yes, please do. Hey, Paul, how are you? I'm doing great. Um, AGT, I can't eat sweets either. I get sick. So it's funny because whenever I eat really sweet things, I have to have a chip, like even just one chip. 
And my friend Angel, she always laughs at me because if I'm at her house and we have something very sweet, I feel nauseous. And then I'm like, I need a chip. And she's like, just one chip. I'm like, yes, I just need a chip. I just need like a salty thing to like de-sweet myself or something. <laughs> it's just a weird thing. Uh, let's see. Mike is on his way home. I'll have a nice steaming chicken pot pie waiting for... Ooh, that sounds so good and so loving. Free sweets should be a thing. Ooh, fried Oreos. I never had that. Travel snacks for Prime Minister. <laughs> it's a hard job, but I, I have some ideas. I want sweets from around the world. Yes. I don't eat sweets, but like sweets. Um, all about the funnel cakes. Yum. UK chocolate is yum. Yes, can hear it, but no, it's not loud. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. Um, I forget where I was. I think it was Amsterdam or somewhere, and they had some delicious chocolates. So I've had chocolates in other countries, and some of the stuff is delicious. Uh, let's see. So please tell him we said hello. Yes. My freezer died today, so I just put my haagen outside in the one degree weather. I mean, that's resourceful. My dad has to eat chips with cake. He has to. This is what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I have some weird tendencies, but that's one of them. It's like, if I eat something really sweet i have to like i feel like ugh, and so i need to like chip it out <laughs> agt one chip i'll try that <laughs> yeah i had some haagen um can't stop it one chip i mean i usually have one or two chips or i'll have like a little handful of like goldfish crackers something that just has a little salt on it that's just like calms down that sweets level all right so there was a lot of good answers on that one. And I love to hear what you guys love. There was a lot of cheesecake lovers on this thing. All right, so let's do the would you rather next. Ooh, Belgian chocolate, best ever. Yum. Um, let's do the would you rather, and then we'll do the, like, the regular question. Um, there are two things that your beats in the US, chocolate and beer. I don't drink beer, so I wouldn't know, but chocolate, I would probably agree. Because I think... American chocolate, if it's milk, I'm not into milk chocolate, and the dark chocolate's good, but the other countries, their chocolate just seems more, like, creamy and more, like, not, like, the American chocolate seems a little bit more artificial, but I don't know. I haven't tried all chocolates. I used to drink Tab, but they stopped making it during COVID. You have to be born in the 70s. Oh, I know about Tab. People are serious about their Tab. Oh, gelato is good. I love gelato. Yum. Oh, and I love cheesecake. Yes, gelato is amazing. Okay, so the next question is a would you rather. And the question is, in Valentine's Day theme, would you rather um, have bright red skin all the time or have your heart beat, have your heart beat be very loud all the time so people could hear your heart beating all the time and you would hear your heart beating all the time too so bright red skin or your heart beating loud all the time chocolate is decadent diet dr pepper girl <laughs> i do like a good dr pepper and i've had diet dr pepper and it is very good i'm 38 and remember tab yes too much paraffin wax and u.s product u.s produced chocolate i think so I want to be red. Center of attention and beautiful. Ooh, awesome. Okay, bright red skin, red skin, bright red skin. Okay, now it's already getting hot in here. That's how fast this heater works. Turning that up. Uh, red skin, the heart thing would get on my nerves. Okay, um, I'm ginger, so in the summer I do have bright red skin. <laughs> Terry Z, I used, to, I used to start drinking Tab at 6 a.m. when I was waitressing early morning. That was early 80s. Tab was a serious situation. Tomato skin or a bass drum heart. I think I'll take the bass drum heart. All right. Bright red skin. How do you sleep hearing your heart beating? I mean, you'd probably get used to it. Maybe it'd be like soothing, like when you're in the womb and you're just hearing the like heartbeat. But I don't know. Uh, Mimi says red skin, loud heartbeat to soothe everyone like babies and their mom. Oh yeah, exactly. Red isn't my color. <laughs> Rather be red heartbeat. People would know how I'm feeling, right? Oh yeah, because if your heart might speed up 
or hopefully it doesn't slow down. But yes, hmm, heart, I'd wear earplugs to bed. My hair used to be bright red and my skin too when sunburned. Red skin for sure. I love Fritos in my chocolate ice cream. Chris, that doesn't even sound weird to me. That actually sounds really good because I love Fritos and, oh, chocolate ice cream. I like chocolate ice cream. I don't love it, but I'm not opposed to trying that. There are some new independent American chocolate makers out there, by the way. Ooh. A heartbeat can be soothing. Exactly, Allison. Yes. I've never been able to, to get sleep with my heart pounding. <laughs> I mean, that's true. I'm going on eBay as soon as this is over and looking for tap. I'm half Hispanic, so I turn brown. Oh, dude, I I get uh, my skin is so like fair and pale. I burn easily. Always good to have a big red heart. Oh, that heartbeat would get so annoying to others. Try going to the library all day. I also feel that if you had like a loud beating heart, it could be kind of creepy if you're like at night walking up towards somebody like even if you're just going to the store but you're parked far away and you're walking behind somebody they'd be like creeped out by that i'm not going to make you guys guess what i would pick i would pick uh bright red skin because i don't really like loud noises especially when i'm trying to sleep or think or you know edit videos and stuff and it just would interfere uh and plus it would be annoying to other people so i would just go with bright red skin and I'd have to just coordinate my outfits around that. So that's what I would do. I get burnt easy too. You can listen to your heartbeat and calm yourself down. Biofeedback. I mean, that's a good point. I do love Martini and Rossi. As Asti, Spamante, Asti Spamante and newfound love of Prosecco. Everyone would know what I'm thinking if they if they're heard my heartbeat. Yes. I win. Whoop, whoop. Bright red skin. I wear earplugs when I sleep. I need quiet. I burn only once, but it turns brown. Uh, usually I am a ding dong and I'll stay in the sun too long without sunscreen, knowing that I'm going to get burnt. But if I do it right, then it will turn into a nice brown, like a nice tan. But that hasn't happened in a while because I'm usually inside. Um, all right, so most of you guys would go with bright red skin. Which would be weird if we had so many people with just all bright red skin. It'd be very vibrant. Can you hear snowflakes dropping? <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay, so I get red skin a lot and would always be asked if sunburn, but no sunburns. So I don't like having red skin. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, let's see. Jet says, Happy Valentine's Day. Stay safe and warm and keep up the good work with your band life. $15. Thank you so much, Jet. I appreciate that. Jet, are you in here? Are you in the live chat? Holler if you are. Um, when I'm stressed, I can hear my heartbeat, especially when I try to sleep and it's quite annoying. Oh, yeah. Like if you could hear like kind of like in your ear. It's like my nose got sunburned once and I was in a pool all day and my chocolate nose turned deep red and I had a sunburn. Oh, that hurts. What's the red ski skin from? I don't know what that means. What's the red skin from? It's just uh, from this game. Um... Jet, if you're in here, I'm going to give you a shout-out for your donation. That's a good basis for a story. <coughs> I'm probably going to be up all night because I am really sensitive to caffeine, and I just thought about this right now. A girl who everywhere can hear her heartbeat. That is like a good movie um, plot. Um, okay, well, if Jet pops in here, let me know, and I'll give you a shout-out. But in the meantime, I'm going to ask the last question. So if anybody has anything else to talk about before we do this last question, then let me know. I didn't know what was happening. Some people think dark skin can't burn. Oh, yeah, I can. 
It can. And you gotta be careful of the sun. I guess I'm lost. I stepped away for a minute. Oh, the question, Terry, is tenacious, is we were saying, would you rather have bright red skin or uh, have your heart be, be audible to everybody, including yourself? I just fell asleep. I just fell on the ice pretty bad. Oh, no. I hope you're okay. Jeff, paging Jeff. <laughs> I have tried to get a second degree. I have tried to get a second degree sunburn. Why? Why are you trying to get... Why are you trying? Oh, Jed. Holla. Okay, here. Let's give you... Thank you so much. It's truly appreciated. That is going to go for tacos, probably. So thank you very much for the snack fun donation. Um, let's see. Be safe and enjoy the stream. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, Belgian chocolate. And there was a great chocolate shop in Mexico. Oh, interesting. I have chicken legs and never wear shorts, so my tan is only on my head and forearms. Oh, no. I never do that. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Speaking as a man of color, I have never seen a black man with a sunburn. Chicken legs, ding. Oh, Jed. Jed. Uh, let's see. I once had a second degree sunburn. Oh, had. Oh, dang. Yeah, that is. Yeah, you could get a very, very burnt, like, your skin could be very, very dangerous. Let's see. Are you like plug in to socket for power to a house right now? No, I'm just with my solar and my solenoid. Bright red skin. I am not looking at it all the time. I hate hearing my heartbeat in my head. It creeps me out. Uh, yes, let's see. That sounds serious. I had third degree. Oh, dang. My whole face swelled like a balloon and my eyes swollen shut. Took four days with tea bags treatments to bring it. Oh, man. Uh, awesome. Thank you, Jed, very much. Dark skin absolutely can get sunburn. People of color are susceptible with the same dangers of skin care as whites. True. Well, I'm telling you, I had a sunburn on my nose. I'm dark skin, so. No, it's true because we all have skin. Like, you can't just, like, that's just like saying, well, if you have dark skin, you can't burn your hand on the stove. It's like. It might be, it might take longer for your skin to burn, but it can burn. If you just keep exposing yourself to like sun rays, you can burn your skin. Um, Rhea says I burn easily. I once had to wear a towel because my shoulders were so bad I couldn't put on a top. That's true. Sunburns are terrible. Um, big blisters and it hurt. Hurled. Oh, dang. Black hair, black lipstick, black outline tattoos, red skin. I'm painting her. Oh. Um, getting burned was how my friends got their suntans. <sighs> I fell asleep on a roof sunbathing. Will not recommend. Yeah. When I was younger, we used to lay out and put like oil on our skin and just fry up and it would just be terrible. Terrible. Oh no, Felicity. I fried on my honeymoon. Fun times. Dang. Sunburn starts to hurt when the sun goes down. No idea why. Your skin is probably like, oh shoot, this is what happened. I do get burned. Uh, 45 years black man, myself, of my family members, never had a sunburn. Burned one time in 82, and to this day, if I tan, the spots that blistered on my arms still peel and leave white spots. Oh, dang. That's crazy. Oil and iodine. Okay, so this is the last question I'm going to ask is regarding dating. So I know some of you guys are married, so you can either don't care if you, uh, not don't care, but like, you don't have to play if you don't want to, but you can give your opinion, of course. Um, so let's just say that you went on one date with somebody and you had a nice enough time and you were like, well, this person is cool. And then you go on a second date and then you start realizing like, this person is really cool, but this person isn't for me. Like I like this person, but I don't like this person enough to like keep dating this person. It, I have a few questions. Number one, do you feel that you owe that person an explanation? Do you think ghosting is okay? 
do you think that you should just like stop communicating with that person or do you think that person deserves an explanation or at least a text or do you think that it's uh like better to just like call that person or see that person in person to tell them you're not interested what do you guys think so let's get into a discussion real quick about what you guys think if you're single or dating or have dated or even just your opinion of how you think that, that should be handled because like you get along if you get along with somebody but you're just like not feeling that person and maybe you're the kind of person that doesn't want any new friends you're like i don't want to stay like i don't want new like friends of the opposite sex so do you let that person down gently or do you just skip out and just don't even contact that person again what do you think Uh, let's see. Jello says, it depends. I think an explanation should be offered. Ghosting is hurtful. Uh, Grant says, after one date. So let's just say it was like after two dates. After two dates. Like you thought maybe that person could be the person, but then you realized that person wasn't the person, but they're nice enough. Like they didn't do anything terrible. They just weren't the person. Um, let's see. Uh, I feel the person deserves an explanation. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Ghosting isn't okay. Just be honest. Brief explanation. Voice if possible. Second date, just fade out. They probably feel the same, if not a convo. They should know either way. No ghosting. I once told a man we were like pickles and cheesecake. <laughs> nothing wrong with either one but they don't go together that is awesome i love that <laughs> although you never know P pickles and cheesecake it could be a thing i don't know but probably not but yeah let them down gently ghosting isn't nice i would be honest i would be honest if i'm not feeling it unless they do something freaky that's true uh barbara the question is if you went on two dates with somebody and you thought maybe after the first date they were nice and it could go somewhere, but then the second date you realized you weren't feeling that person like that, would you just ghost them or would you like give them an explanation or what do you think you would do or what do you think someone should do? Um, Kendra, I would let them down gently. Ghosting is not okay. Always be honest but kind. You can't be a match with everyone. True. I think I would have that conversation in person. I've been ghosted and that sucks. Be honest. Just be honest. You should tell them in person. However, it is difficult to do. I can't do it. I am weak. <laughs> and I appreciate that honesty. Okay, see now it's getting cold in here again. This is what happens all night in this weather. I'm like, okay, time to hit heater on. Then it gets warm fast and I'm on and off with it. Um, if he was nice, I'd give explanation. If he wasn't nice, screw him. <laughs> Let them down gently with an honest explanation. I'd keep it short and sweet. What is ghosting? Uh, ghosting is when you just disappear. You just don't ever contact the person again. You just fade out. You just don't say anything. And if they contact you, you just don't answer. Honestly explaining. Um, I would just not accept a third date. Oh, that's a good point. And just tell them it's not what you're looking for. I say to let them know we are grown-ups, I hope. Um, ghosting is disappearing. Okay. Ghosting is really hurtful. Pickles and cheesecake is my new go-to. <laughs> Tanya. Blocking them online. Yes. Women know in five minutes if they want you. Men and women are different breeds. Women go don't understand ghosting, but it's necessary. Like leaving before morning. Just saying. Don't judge me. Tina, this is an open discussion, and I want, I'd rather have honesty. So, um... So that's what I'm saying is like, is it different for men and women? Because here's my thoughts and then I'll finish your guys' comments. My thoughts are you should, I think you should always, I'm going to put a little side note in a second, but you should always communicate with somebody. If you had enough something in you, courtesy or whatever, to meet with that person, if you got to the point where you actually met somebody in person, because first of all, when I date, I always like meet somebody for like a coffee or a smoothie in the middle of the day. I don't ever do a dinner date. I never accept a, a like a formal date on the first meeting. I never do because I don't want somebody spending money 
on like a fancy dinner and then be like, oh, you, you just use me for your, to get dinner. No, I never do that. <clears throat> but anyway, I always meet for like something basic, like something that's under $5. Um, and, or nothing sit at a park, who cares? And I always meet with that person. And I usually know if I like that person, like you said, um, and once it's over, if they ask me on the date, if, the, if, if I want another date, I'll be like, I will, it, it hurts. Cause like, it's hard to tell somebody in person, like, no, but I would just be like, I don't think we're a match, but I do appreciate you. Um, and if it's like, we end the date and we move on, I immediately like within the hour, I'll send them a text and I'll be like, Hey, it was so great. Blah, blah. blah. Um, I don't think we're a match or I don't think I see a romantic connection. Uh, but I wish you the best in your journey. Um, but I always let somebody know the only exception is if that person was a creep, a creeper or some kind of like somebody said like freaky or some kind of like, if they felt off to me, if they felt like there was some underhandedness or if they, if it just felt like something is off, I might just leave it. I might just leave it and just, if they don't contact me and I don't contact them. Um, but I'd say 99% of the time somebody does contact me back and they'll be like, Hey, do you want to go out again? Um, I would say that's happened very rarely where I don't respond because I think it's rude to, to ghost people. Um, and it's not nice. And even if that person's like a little weird, I still respond to them. But it, I'm just saying if they're excessively like giving me a bad feeling, then I will like leave it alone. But I think people do just, like, should just be grown ups and just talk to each other, it, you know, make a phone call or a text or whatever. Um, so I agree with a lot of you, but is it different for men and women? Cause I don't know. Um, I've had to go stalkers. Yeah. Stalkers is a different thing. Um, I would tell them on the second date before piecing out full honesty. Oh, that's good. Just tell them right then. Stalkers are different. Yeah. I just Googled, actually, there is such a thing as pickle cheesecake. Oh my gosh, how funny. <laughs> Ghosting is tempting to do, but closure is better. Yes, I think closure is better because then you can be like, okay, that person's not feeling me. I can move on. I think dudes do it more. I agree. I think they do. I think dudes are have an easier time doing the ghosting. Um, but I don't know. I think it's like, but why wouldn't you just say something to somebody? Because it just kind of hurts people's feelings because you're like thinking, okay, things are going pretty well. Like, you know, this is cool. Like we're getting along. And it's like the other person's like, nah, dude, uh, no. Like at least you can just know and then you can just move on to the next dating situation. And why wouldn't you just say that? And maybe guys have a harder time just, maybe they think they're going to hurt the girl's feelings. I'd rather somebody just tell me right off. I'm not feeling you. You're, you're not the person for me. I'd be like, cool. Thanks for hanging out with me. Move on. Um, let's see. Oh, hey, Colin. Thank you so much. Hi. Thank you for the 199. Let me give you a shout. Let's give you. Thank you so much. Thank you for that snack fund donation. Uh, let's see, but maybe not. I don't know. Maybe women do it more. I think I know, like I know some women that just totally ghost and I'm like, that's not right. I don't agree with that. And I also don't agree with when women use dudes for meals. Like I've heard of women that just go on apps, match with people and then get dudes to take them out for dinners. And then they'll just like ghost them after that. That's so wrong. And that like ruins it for other people. Um, I treat them the way I would want to be treated. Yes. Okay. Um, disappearing is not closure. True. You can't communicate with everyone. Sometimes a hard break works. What eventually happens, you'll see that person. What eventually happens, you'll see that person and maybe a cordial discussion will ensue. I don't know. Cause like dudes that I've dated, I don't see those dudes anymore. I'll see them again. And no, I don't know. Uh, you need to research on how to set the temperature control on your heater so it will stay at a constant temperature. Oh, yes. I should probably do that. Good point. Yes. 
my one and only boyfriend did that and then a week later tells me he fell in love with his best friend's newly wedded wife who was now living with him at the time holy that's crazy i haven't been on a date in seven years i haven't been on a date in a long time now now that i'm thinking about it but not seven years don't answer freakers <laughs> yeah if they don't take no for an answer then that would be the time to ghost yes exactly guys these days can't take a rejection i think so on that note jello martini um this hasn't really happened to me much but um it has happened to my friends quite a bit but it's like you'll be like you know like they'll be talking and having a good time and they might even meet in person and then if my friends like oh you know it was nice to get to know you but i'm just not feeling like i think we're a good match and then that person that dude will just flip and he'll be like you're a fat bee you're stupid you're a hoe you're this and all like they just freak out and i'm like what the heck and i think sometimes the ego is just so strong they just can't handle it they just can't handle it I'm not saying all guys but i think it's can be very hard for the ego Years ago, I ghosted a guy who asked me out to dinner and a movie, then told me at the end to pay my own way. No problem if he said that in the beginning, but not at the end. Yes, I'm a traditional girl, and I feel like dudes should pay for the date, but I also think that girls shouldn't be users. Not saying you're the user, I'm saying just a general statement. Um, I think, you know, you should talk before you get on a date. You know, people should be talking, and they shouldn't just be like willy nilly out here spending all this cash. But I think a dude should pay for, you know, a date, especially if they ask you out. But yeah, if you don't, if you just wait till the end, no. That happened to me before too. I went on a date and the dude was like, <laughs> he's like, oh, you should get a, you should get a, um, something to drink. And I was like, I don't really drink. He's like, oh, let's get some drinks. And so I ended up getting a drink and he's like, oh, they have the best burgers here. You should get a burger. And I'm like, okay. And so at the end, he's like, do you want to come back to my place? And I'm like, no. And then he's like, oh, okay. And then the waitress was like, um, I'll get the bill. And he's like, oh, he's like, she's like, do you want me to split it? And he looked at me. He's like, I mean, and I'm like, oh my gosh, just split the bill. Like, who cares? And so he, after I was like pissed because I didn't even want those drinks and he recommended the burger. And so I just paid for my own. And then he's like, are you sure you don't want to come back to my place? I was like, I'm 100% sure. That dude was crazy. I was like, heck no. Um, men tend to do that more often. I have consoled many ladies. I can honestly say I've never broken anyone's heart. I've had mine broken plenty. Oh, I've, I think I've broken hearts and had mine heart broken many a time. I agree. If you're an adult, you should just tell the person. Ghosting is a millennial and Gen Z type of thing. I think so, too. I think that's happened more often in the last few years. Because back in the day, it, people were like more respectful, I think. You can't communicate with everyone, but you can at least say you're not interested. Come on. Yeah, I agree. That takes the minimum. People ghost because they don't really want to face dealing with someone's hurt feelings. True. I'll have no other romances since over 25 years ago. He was my first. Um, sometimes they are married when they ghost you. Oh, that's true. And that's terrible. I've never been ghosted, but I've ghosted lots of millennial creeps. Um, yeah, if they're a creep, you know, they can just suck it. I don't care. Millennial dating sucks. Yes, it does. Ghosting is like leading someone on. They don't know they were rejected until they know. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it sucks. Women dating for dinner is so messed up. I agree. I'm a woman and like many women, I don't like confrontation or hurting others. True, but also I think it's just fair to just tell a person, hey, I'm not feeling it. Like we're all like the singles, we're dating. So we know it's like not everything's going to be a match. So it's like people should just be like, okay, cool. Thanks. I'm glad I get, got to meet you as a human being and, you know, let's move on. Um, but I'm the reverse of how most dudes act, I guess. Okay. I'm not ghosting, but I have a, I have to go. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know. Thanks for communicating. God bless you in Jesus name. Amen. Thanks, Barbara. Uh, let's see. You seem like a good guy. I, I had a guy to date me just cause I had a super nice sports car. 
Dang. That sucks. I hear that about ghosting is a little hurtful, but that's just my opinion, so take it with a grain of Yes. Neither men nor women should use the other for monetary gain or for products or food. I agree. Freaking out dudes, you do have to cut off contact because they're that's crazy, yes. Whoever asks should pay, period. Yes. They're projecting how they feel about themselves. Yes. I think so too. I think whoever asks the other out should pay. Yes. Exactly. I pay my own way, but I don't like to be wait, I pay my own way so I but I don't like to be seen doing it, so I kinda insist on paying my share of the money over before we go into the venue. Uh, whoever does the asking should pay unless it's talked about beforehand if you want to split a group for him. Yeah. Uh, and also, not everybody has to share the same, you know, beliefs. Like, that's just my, I'm like more traditional. So that's my way. That's my belief. Um, but not everybody has. Like, if if you are in a situation where you don't believe that and your person you're going out with doesn't believe that too, then that's great because you can talk about that ahead of time. But that's just me. I've had three relationships in my life. Uh, I was a 13-year-old marriage and then a six-month followed by a 10-year relationship. Oh, hey, Mad Titan. That's BS. He tried to use you. Facts. That is messed up. That dude was crazy. Yes. Yeah, that dude was all kinds of crazy. And he was telling all kinds of lies, too. He's like, I'm a professor at a uh, historically black college. And he was a high school teacher. <laughs> I was like, ah, no, you're not. And then he was just telling all sorts of things and how he knows people, all these things. I was like, bro, stop it. And he, oh, he was telling me how he... <laughs> It goes even so worse. I'm surprised that he even stayed as long on that date. He was telling me how uh, when he had just moved to, I'm not going to even say where he lived. It was what state he lived in when he had just moved there. He was like banging all these girls, which is not the word he used. But he was like telling me about all these interactions he had with these girls and how they would just, you know, he would go to pick them up for a date and they'd be standing in the doorway with lingerie on and they just couldn't wait to have sex with him. And I'm like, why are you telling me all these stories about your sexual encounters? I was like, I think he needs therapy, not a date. I briefly dated a girl that I found out was just using me for money. The sad thing is that I wasn't spending a lot of money on her. I mean, almost spent, was like $15 at McDonald's. Some girls are so desperate. Wow, dating is interesting times. Sometimes that's for sure. She valued her worth in fries. <laughs> so thankful to have someone in my life. Couldn't imagine dating again. Yes, be thankful if you're with somebody that you love because it's it's hard times out here I'm talking all this stuff and I only been single for about a year and have and have dated in 19 years I think I've been single for a long time but I haven't really been on any like dates in a long time like the last boyfriend I had was like in 2018 jeez now that I'm thinking about that, that's a long time. I didn't realize. That's crazy. Um, is this what I've been missing out on? I need to tune, answer more of these story times. <laughs> um, let's see. A professor who didn't want to pay for your dinner, which he recommended. Exactly. This is what I'm trying to say. I was like, what? Allison, do you see red signs before going on a date? Dating is like opening a gift you may or may not like. Sometimes you get surprised. Yes. And you know what's funny is like, I usually don't even get to that point to go out with somebody. Like, you know, my little, like, I don't know what you call it. My little method is like, if I'm on a dating app, I usually like text with that person on the app for a little bit just to see if they're crazy. And then if like they're not crazy, which is very rare, but they usually are crazy. But if they're not, then I'm like, oh, okay. Like, and then hopefully that person suggests a phone call. Uh, and if not, then I'll suggest a phone call. And I get on the phone because tr I've had some people that sound, like sound good on the app. And then you get on the phone and they're nuts. Like, you know, they're either like one person was like the quietest talker ever. I was like, wait, what, what, huh? What? Like I could barely hear this dude. I was like, no. And then one other guy was super braggy about all these accomplishments like on the phone call this other guy was like cussing up a storm which is fine because I cuss but also when you're first on the phone with somebody it's a little like off-putting if they're just like dropping f-bombs like left and right 
Uh, and so sometimes I'll know right away on just a phone call and I'm like, no, this isn't, it's not going to be a thing. And you could kind of get a sense. And then if they get past that, then I'll meet them in a public place, like for like a coffee. And then you get to know a lot about a person if, you know, if you're sitting across from them and then from there, you know, we'll see what happens, but I don't know. I do tr see red flags and yellow flags and try to like be cautious, but sometimes you never know. Dude was lying about where he worked. Dang. So sad. Yes. He was telling you what he wanted. So true. He sounded yucky. He was. I went on one date with a guy who claimed to be a professional guitarist. Then he said his guitar was in the shop getting restrung. That's like sending a lamp to an electrician for a new life. Exactly. Yes. Uh, let's see. Oh, Mad Titan coming through with that 20 spot relationships bites. Relationship bites with the snack pack. Awesome. Let's give you. Thank you so much, Mad Titan. You are a blessing. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, I need to learn the new dating rules now that I'm single. I don't want to deal with too many nutty people. Yeah, I feel you. I haven't dated in a very long time because I have not met any any nice guys. So sad. Yeah, it's hard times. I'm not even kidding. Ray, so the first thing I learned. Wait, you cuss? <laughs> yes, I do. I don't cuss on here or my videos. Sometimes I'll cuss on my videos, but I always bleep them out. But yeah, I'm a, you know. I'm not like a, a full angel, for real. I do cuss, especially on the phone with my friends. I do. But I try not to that often. Uh, go to your favorite place and pick a girl to speak with. Uh, let's see. Um, hey, could you name a few of your favorite ho hobbies? Um, eating and traveling. <laughs> Hence, travel snacks. I love you sharing your dating stories. I've had a lot of similar experiences. Oh, I have so many stories, which I don't think this is, this is bugging me. Um, I had like a spot on my thing. Um, yeah, I think like, I know I've said this a lot of times. And once I get like out on the road road, I think I'm going to start that late night snack live stream, which I'll share more of these stories. But I'm like, I have to pray about this and like, question myself if I want to share all my personal stuff because once it's out there then it's out there and not like I'm like a famous person but you know it's just like I gotta cons consider some privacy in my life but some of these stories are just funny and like it's ridiculous so I don't know don't buy me a drink buy me the books I'm about to get at the bookstore yes exactly especially since I don't drink you're a blessing oh thank you so much Mad Titan Hey, Bobby. Greetings from Virginia Beach. Awesome. My spouse died in July. Not sure about dating. Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear that, Dana Marie. That's very recent. Just give yourself time, you know. And if you feel ready at some point, then you will. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Manager of Harris Tahoe back in the 80s. He took me to dinner. <clears throat> I love these. I love your dating stories too, all you guys. Okay. He took me to dinner. Then he said he wanted to stop by his place to grab something. Next thing I know, I hear the tub running in the master bath. I took a cab home. You know what, guys? I'm not even kidding. I just had this idea. Like when we do late night snacks, I might... Okay, this is a good idea. I think I'm going to do like a thing where I'm going to like figure out a way where you guys can leave me voice recordings like anonymously or you can tell me but I won't share it with people or like emails or some way for you guys to tell me your stories and I'm going to read some of these like you could just tell me if you want to be anonymous. What do you guys think? Because these stories are great. I love hearing like dating stories or like funny stories or like whatever. Even if they're just like whatever honest stories I just love and maybe oh okay so listen I know we're going long so I'll end soon but okay if I did it that way and I bring in stories from other people first would you guys like that 
because maybe I'm the only one that likes that. But then I could throw in a, like some stories that are from me, but I could just be like, and here's another submission. And you guys wouldn't know it's from me, but I could tell my story. But sometimes I tell you my real stories too, but I don't know. Um, let's see. Okay, I'll have to be out. Everyone take care. Stay safe. Thanks. Jay. Bye, Kendra. Talk to you soon. Allison, if you're scared, say you're scared. Oh, heck no. I hate when dudes say that. Oh, are you scared? It's like, scared of what? What? what what's a grown woman scared of? Nothing. Oh, heck no. <laughs> okay, well, can you recommend a snack for a Saturday night? I'm about to go to the store before I find a spot for that. Do you want sweet or savory, Van Dwelling Brandon? Late night snack chat. Late night snack chat. <laughs> well, you already shared the feet story and how to diaper pee in a car. True. That's a good idea. You should guess who we are. Ooh, that's a good one too. JB says, great idea. Crazy dating stories. I love it. Yes, I'd be willing to share. Oh my God, I have too many stories. Sto story snack time. Yes. Bye, Kendra. We'd guess. Yeah, you probably would guess. Sounds good. Uh, girl, I could keep you busy for days. I wasn't the brightest bulb in the box of my effects. Chris, listen. I was so naive for many years in my beginning dating life <sighs> I did some dumb things <laughs> I've done a lot of dumb things so yes okay this is this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna figure that out uh, and then we'll do crazy dating stories and that'll be so delightful because then it would be like the snack pack just like oh it's awesome I love it I'm just, like I'm this is the greatest Valentine's Day gift I'm so excited about this Okay, uh, create an email that you could get these comfort. Okay, okay. Let's see. I will create, I'll create a separate email address that you guys could submit to. But also, there, I think there's a way where you can even send voice recordings. But email's probably better than I can read it. Okay, yeah, we'll just do email. Um, dating's like a box of chocolate. You never know. That is true. Sometimes you think it's a good one, too. You, you're just like, oh, this is going to be the best thing. And then it's like one of those weird ones that you don't like. A viewer could share on the community page of your channel. True. I'm game, but some of my stories might get me a timeout from Grant. No, no, if it's a late night snack or late night snack chat, um, it's going to be a little bit more gritty, a little bit less PG. Because this, this one right here. I mean, we can't be too crazy because it's YouTube and, you know, I don't want to get demonetized. But, yeah. You know. And I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be calm about it, too. Like, I'll be reading it. So, I'll know when to, like, kind of edit some things. Uh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> Grant's like, oh, my gosh. What am I going to do? We won't put all the burden on Grant. Maybe we'll get, I mean, unless you want to, Grant. Because we're in diff all different time zones. But I could assign another moderator if it's, if you don't want to do it. But, Grant does a great job, but, you know, I don't want to be a burden. Um, always sweet. Okay, so sweet, I would recommend, well, you know, I'm always going to recommend cookies. Because cookies is a good sweet treat. And you know what is also really good is those little apple turnovers that you get in the bakery section. Those are delicious. That would be cool. That would be cool giving stories. Yes. I just started looking at your channel. Oh, awesome. Hey, Calvin. Um... On theme for February, crazy drinking stories for March. Oh, dang. <laughs> That'd be good. You'd get around to 100 voicemails in one day and then nothing. That's probably true. The men have to participate too. Yes, it can't just be all women's stories. I want men's stories because men are a mystery. Because, like, women, we know what's going on. We talk. But men, I want to hear the nitty gritty. I want the honest truth. Even if it hurts, I'd rather have the truth. You can send video on emails. Yes, that's true. No, no, no. Hopefully no creepers are here. True. If you want voice recordings, you can possibly set up a Google Voice account. Okay. Um, there is a way to send vocals as an attachment. In yes. <laughs> Grant says, I love burden. All right. All right. Oh, snap. She wants it gritty. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not kidding. Like, I don't mind, you know, reading some juicy stuff. The problem is most women think about the future and men think about the present. Just stay in the now and enjoy the ride. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> chuckle, chuckle. Uh, too much for Grant. Gotta go. 
love to the snack packer. Stories sound fun. Heartfelt thoughts to Dana Marie and AGT for the yes, indeed. Hey, Van Drilling Dwelling Brandon, thank you so much. Let's give you a shout. Let's see. Ooh, let's give you Yes! <laughs> Thank you so, so much. This is going to be great for all the things I've been trying to buy for the van. Did you guys hear that wind? That was freaking crazy. You guys hear that? That's cold. That's a cold wind. I'll moderate the late night. Awesome. I'm not offended by anything as long as people stay. Okay, good. I don't, I'm not easily offended. I'm not easily offended. I know maybe my demeanor might seem like very sweetsy and I am very sweet and loving, but also like, you know, I like to keep things real and I don't, I'm not easily offended by things. Can you get all dressed chips in the USA? Ooh, I don't know. I haven't seen them, but I love them. Hey, Liz from California. Chris says she'll help moderate too. Okay, awesome. Uh, maybe don't have moderators for emails. Oh, no, no. The emails will not be moderated. The, the emails, I'll set up a separate email account and it'll just go to me. And then the moderators are just in the chat. So it'll only be me knowing the stories. And just so you know, like I'm a good secret keeper. So even if you send it from your real email, I'm not going to, if you put in the email, do not reveal my name or email or anything, I'm not going to reveal it. Um, you know, that's, I wouldn't do that. My worst dating moments. Yes. Uh, this will be so fun. You don't want to hear about the time I walked out the bathroom and the girl was hiding in my closet. I do want to hear about that. That's a story waiting to be heard. Hey Jake, how are you? Stay safe, especially in this weather. Yes, Karen. Um, but if it was, let's see, maybe I won't need therapy after all. <laughs> oh, man. You know, talking with friends is good therapy. Uh, yeah, no politics. Uh, yeah, we won't be talking about any politics on that. Any of these live streams. Because it's too volatile. True, but the present leads to the future. Allison has two grown men children. She's heard plenty, right? Uh, not really from my kids, because we don't talk about stuff like that, but I mean, I've been around the block many a time. <laughs> well, Chris is like, I'm good. Uh, let's see. Alright, awesome. Um, so, I, I said we... I say we did really good on answering that last question about ghosting. And I'd say most of us uh, would communicate and be respectful to each other. And just if you're dating, then be nice and give somebody at least a heads up of what you're doing. But also, I know for men it might be harder. But as a woman, I appreciate the honest truth. Even if I'm disappointed, it's better. It helps me to like get past things. Hey, Allison, take care because I got to run. I'm meeting the fellas for dinner and watching the Warriors Nets game. Oh, awesome. Bye. Have a great night. All right. And on that note, I think I'm out. Um, I have some editing to do and it's getting colder and I need to check out outside and see what's going on because it's very windy. So I might need to go park somewhere else. Um, but I'm very excited. And so next Saturday, I will make, let me write this down. Next Saturday, um, I should have the separate email set up so that I can give it to you guys so you can start submitting stories. This is going to be so fun. I'm so excited about it. Crazy dating stories, and I'm just so excited about this. So it'll be fun. Uh, let's see. Crazy undercover mission with the mistress to find the other mistress. Oh, dang. Like the first video. I just like cooking. Same. Wait, wait. What? AGT. I gotta go. Love y'all. Have a great night. Snack or see you next week. Good night and God bless. Bless and take care. Have a Valentine's Day, everyone. It's weird because on this, on the iPad, like on the computer, once it ends, I can stay on and read the, the chat. But once I end this on the iPad, 
it just ends so I can't see it so I'm trying to like you know let you guys say whatever you want to say before I hang up basically I look forward to hearing the stories have a day <clears throat> all right um anyone else before I click off take care and thanks for another yes 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 thank you thank you thank you all right so have a fabulous Valentine's Day to those of you that are celebrating. Um, have a great day of love always, every day. And happy Valentine's Day to all the lovers out there. And you guys are amazing and wonderful. And have a great week. And I'm excited about sharing what we're going to be doing in the future. And until next time, bye for now. God bless you all. AGT! Wow, thank you so much. Wait, I'm gonna hold on a second. Last week, I hope you undress. Oh, um, maybe have a great night. I totally enjoyed today's stream. I can't wait to see the new videos. Um, hey, Danielle, Danny girl. Um, thank you, AGT. I want to give you a major shout out. Let me give you a hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you so much, AGTWNC. That is a true blessing because, like I said, I just recently bought that Ninja Foodie and it was not cheap. So that's going to definitely help to replace uh, the money that I spent on that. So every time I cook, I'll be thinking of you because <laughs> that's going to be helpful to be able to cook in the van if it works. So thank you truly. I truly appreciate it very much. Uh, Danielle says, I started my business. Oh, awesome. so fun just to get that in <laughs> i'm glad you got it in there i got wave to all the fellow washingtonians okay okay thank you okay awesome thank you guys so much and i appreciate each and every one of you truly so have a great week and i will see you guys next time and bye for now